Hello? Can you hear me? I'm here now. Uh, only two minutes late, so I really did make it uh, exactly whenever I said it I, I would, other than the fact that like initially I had said uh, 7 p.m., but I did say two minutes late in the chat, and I was only two minutes late. Uh, welcome, Holland. Uh, and I would also hope that my GPU can uh, run a visual novel, but you know, honestly, there's no way to tell right now. Why is it made like this? Wait. How does how does the continue screen work? So, oh, there's different things. I see. Welcome to the stream, uh, Jube. Thank you, Holland. I am here. Uh, but you know, it's been an experience trying to get the get the computer to work. I think I'm okay to just sit here while I talk for a minute. It's been a whole experience to get the computer to work over the past, like, it's been longer than a week now since I started ordering parts. Bought the uh, first power supply, started getting all that pulled in, had to like fight hand-to-hand -hand combat with my PC to get the wires and stuff out of the case the first time eventually win while taking a few wounds to my hand but i did win nonetheless and maybe that's all that matters um but then you know you get it plugged in realize oh nothing's turning on what went wrong and then eventually you find out what went wrong by doing like some crazy problem solving skills to realize oh i didn't plug this thing in correctly or whatever uh, in my case, it was that I'd put the wrong wire in the wrong thing because none of the wires were labeled and there was no instruction manual and I had never done it before and it, it all went horribly wrong. But eventually got the correct wire plugged in. Uh, all turns on and stuff. Oh, but nothing works. Uh, GPU uh, isn't handling it. And doing Googling, oh, it's because your power supply that's made for big, strong computers that might have a GPU that needs uh, three four plus four pins, actually only comes with two individual wires with one that's uh, a splitter. And that wasn't gonna work. So buy a new power supply, still need to return the other power supply. A uh, new power supply comes in, uh, sitting there happier than I've ever been at, because I made a mistake as well. Uh, sending the power supply to the to the wrong address. So I actually had to buy two power supplies and I'm getting that other one returned um, Thankfully and So I finally get the power supply sitting there happier than I've ever been eager to finally have a working PC again uh, Get my knife out cut open the box uh, out of the wrapper uh, Open the box up start uh, eagerly counting my wires Mm, one motherboard 24 pin, uh, one CPU, mm, two CPU, how convenient. Oh, here's my PCIe uh, GPU cables that I need. Mm, one, two, mm, 27 SATA cables, don't mind if I do. Get to the final two cables in the bottom of the box and I end up with four CPU cables and two uh, PCIe cables that I need to plug into my uh, graphics card because apparently also the very powerful the much better power supply also only has two PCIe cables because clearly you're much more likely to need four different CPU cables instead of multiple PCIe's I'm not entirely sure who has about 35 different CPUs in their computer, but it's not me Maybe I'm just not familiar with the use case that that's required um, but either way, I got it all plugged in, and uh, I just used the splitter anyway. And this way, if it didn't work, because initially I had the gigabyte power supply, that's very important because the gigabyte power supply apparently uh, literally used to work as a bomb, and it would explode in people's PCs. So I replaced it with one. Uh, it's a Corsair one, much less likely to be a bomb and literally explode so that's already like much better um 
believe it or not i prefer the one that's not a bomb but also gigabyte they don't sell spare wires so there's literally no way that i can ever get a wire to replace any of the wires or get an extra wire just in case i needed it and there also just wasn't any extra slots in the uh in the power supply for extra PCIe cable, so I was out of luck. But with the Corsair one, they do have like 27 different PCIe slots. It's just that like all of the wires are for CPUs, but you can also buy Corsair wires. So if this doesn't work, it's literally as easy as just buying a wire instead of another $100 power supply. And so the path of action has become clear. But like as as this whole process has gone on, every time I open my door day after day, my computer sitting there dissected on the floor like I'm playing Operation. Uh, and uh, slowly my pile of boxes and bags and wires and screws and screwdrivers all growing and growing I don't know if you've ever seen Serial Experiments Lane it's like every time she opens her door in uh, the show uh, after different episodes and all of a sudden it's just like oh she has a little desktop computer mm, she has two monitors now sitting at a strong three monitors Oh, now there's liquid cooling all across the floor. Giant wires plugging into the uh, electricity towers outside. And they're going everywhere and it looks like a living being. And you can probably like see computer lungs somewhere. Uh, that's kind of what the room's been looking like lately. So I'm going to have to like deep clean, get all the wires figured out because I do have to return the gigabytes uh, power supply before it gets offended that I didn't use it and literally explodes. But, uh, you know, that's for another day. Uh, either way, I've been looking forward to playing uh, 999 like a lot. Uh, I kind of like the the puzzles. And hopefully I can run uh, a visual novel. I think things are looking uh, much more hopeful because I did test it the other day uh, on Resident Evil after fixing it the other day being last night. So we should be good now. And I don't think I'll have to uh, private or this or unlist this stream. But, you know, it's a visual novel either way, so, you know, it's a lot lighter. Uh, this is where it's at, is a uh, very true uh, welcome lock. I know you said that about 27 minutes ago, but I was feeling a lot of emotions, so... I apologize for making you wait that long for me to say hello to you. Um, I think I literally had just finished the puzzle where we left off last week. So, there's really not all that much to do. Emotions are good. I think so too. Sometimes it's good to sit down and vent about all the troubles that have been caused to you by a uh, big power supply. Because for whatever reason they give you 27 of the cables that you don't need and that nobody will ever need. Why would they ever give you the ones that like make sense to have? It unlocked. Good job Junpei. Uh, good, now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. I agree. I... I've clicked on the door three times. Can we just open it? I would like to leave. Oh, I think they're heading that way. Let me just start talking again. Uh, hey, how are your kids doing? Oh, I really need to go. Hey, what do you want to have for dinner in two Another weeks whenever boy. we meet again? Come on, open! It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Oh, no. They've been locked in while they're trying to leave. Worst uh, dinner reunion of all time. Elevators, and the buttons can't be true. Of course they don't work. The power Who would have seen that coming? Too, Not like me. The staircase. That leaves this door. It's crazy my PC can handle this game right now. Yeah, I really didn't expect it either. Part of me expected it to open the game, and then you would still somehow uh, be able to tell that the visual novel was running at 3 like fps uh also hi joe welcome blue yeah. uh trophy smiling face sure does well then let's open it all right good idea Here I oh so it's a kitchen nice 
What were you expecting? It kind of looks nasty. Isn't it obvious? Boat kitchens have to be like uncomfortable. How do they even work? Because like I don't know, I've never been I don't I I've never been on like a long boat ride or a cruise or whatever. What if you hit like a wave? Does the stuff just Makes go it. everywhere? Do they have the like the loaf of bread glued down? Do they have <laughs> really like the bungee bad. straps sitting over all the food? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. Hold on, I have to screw down my uh, piece of pita bread so it won't go flying away. Me neither, to be honest. Seems dangerous. Are you talking about the bread or the boat? Door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Hmm. Nice reasoning. Don't we need a key for that? Why didn't you say that out loud? Everyone else was voice acted. Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. It's okay, Junpei. I just would have preferred if you read it out loud. But you're reading it out loud now. Hey. Hey. What's that? Big cruise lines have tanks of water inside the ship to keep them from tipping and stay balanced. Oh, that's interesting. So before you go on the cruise, you have to like fill half the boat with water on both sides so that it stays even. Maybe it works too, because then if you get like uh, stranded in the ocean and your whole boat blows up, uh, you've got water that isn't like seawater. It's got to be drinking water that they're keeping in there, right? Or maybe they're using it from their reserves. Welcome, Elodie. They're using it from their reserves, and so if people drink too much water, then the on the left side of the ship, the boat ends up tipping to the left, and uh, they, like, topsize. It's one thing on a Navy ship where everything can afford to be bolted down, but on a cruise ship, I have no idea how the kitchens would work to keep it looking elegant. I don't know. Maybe the, the, maybe they just run around other than like the tipping thing and keeping it balanced because maybe eventually like a big wave would come and hit and then all of a sudden your entire kitchen has moved to the left like by five inches. But I suppose you wouldn't really be taking a cruise ship in those kinds of weather conditions, but you never know where weather's going to go. It can always go wrong. It's a map of the B deck. Making sure that your kitchen staff and the cruise ship has the top of the notch training so that they can quickly reassemble the kitchen and then also save thousands of people whenever a big wave hits see look or if they hit a, a iceberg do you think titanic the titanic like getting hit by iceberg and literally dying like changed what people needed to know to like get hired on ships what did you figure out i suppose it wouldn't because it's just getting on like lifeboats and stuff but it feels like that it pr should probably change something. I'm sure it did change something, but like not in the way that I'm thinking though. Go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. No way. How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. The iceberg that hit the Titanic was huge as uh, AF. There we go. Here, you can have it back. That's true. How did they miss Thanks. it? Were they not looking? There's a card reader on the right side of the door. I mean, I don't have the best eyesight, but I think I would have seen it personally. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? That no way. The most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. We're already getting into the first puzzle. Unironically, yeah, they were looking. Is that true? <laughs> Only the tip was sticking out in the water. Oh, that's just one little ice cube. Uh picking up the ice cube in the bottom of the ocean and it comes with about 25 tons worth of ice. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Oh no. My freezer made too much ice. Okay. Okay. The introduction is very funny whenever it's kind of just like an unmenacing kitchen sink that is maybe slightly rusted and hasn't been cleaned in a minute. Like the rest of them was like, oh, we have this thing and you're running. And if you don't hit the thing, you're going to literally explode, uh, get to work. And then you don't literally explode. But like the cabin looks a little creepy, so it's a little more apt. But this is kind of just a dirty kitchen. They haven't done the dishes in four years. No. All we've got here is a pot and frying pan. 
Uh, oh, and a pressure cooker. We could use some of those as weapons. What kind of an idiot are you? He's just thinking ahead. You're gonna run around holding that thing while you're looking for the dead? It was just a joke. Why so serious? Oh. Apparently the lookout guy wasn't paying attention, then told the dude to steer away the last minute, but then the dude in charge of the wheel mixed up port in starboard and turned the wrong way. I was about to just talk about it being embarrassing for the lookout guy, but confusing port in starboard, wouldn't that be like, I'm no boat pilot, but I assume that's got to be like going like, oh, uh, make sure you stay on the right side of the road and then turning to the left side, uh, hitting somebody going 60 miles an hour uh, directly in the front and then killing like six people. So that's got to be like extra embarrassing, probably worse than just the guy that was like zoning out thinking about what he wants for dinner or whatever. That's like their one job. That's true. If your one job is to look at a thing and then you can't look at the thing, there's probably like big problems. Not probably, there's just definitely big problems. Better than being full of rotten food, I suppose. Damn it, there's nothing in here. Hey Santa, digging through the trash really suits you? What the hell did you say? Listen lady, I did you a favor, I knew you'd just piss and moan, so I did it for you. Oh my, I don't recall asking you to do anything. I ought to throttle you. Excuse me? It's very timely, the dialogue. Imagine your job is to know the difference between left and right and you just forget. So it is exactly the left and right thing. Make sure you turn left at the intersection. Uh, turns right and goes to Nevada. Yes, it's Pog Blue. Uh, this pot looks like it's made out of silver. I bet drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. Spending a day off with June drinking tea. Could such a day ever happen for me? I can't believe that I've been stuck here with the... Jumpy? Oh, nothing. We don't really need hot water, so we should be moving on. I like all the random things where they just start thinking about stuff that is completely unrelated. You can reach really high. <laughs> yeah. The feeling pride over being able to touch the tip of the roof. I can jump pretty high. Here we go. That's uh, something that I've never been able to feel. Up too short. And I can't jump very high. What game is this? It's 999. The Nonary Games. Zero Escape. 16% of the iceberg was 50 to 100 feet high and uh, 400 feet long. Uh, gotta go though, have fun Joe, my love, please win. Oh, everyone's been laying it on kind of thick recently. Also have fun with what you're doing, Blue. I believe you're also streaming. Is it a horror game? It's no horror game. It's a escape room puzzle game. Like the ones that used to exist on the phones and that were really cool and good and you click on it and you find the key and then you click the key and uh you put it in the thing but then also now you need to look for the triangles and then you find the triangles and there's smaller squares within the triangles and there's patterns in the squares the patterns are labeled one two three four five you see that the pattern that you were looking at in the square is five the pattern in the triangle is three and then there's also a pattern on the wallpaper that's two and so you know that to turn the key you need to say five three two uh you love escape room games yeah, they're kind of they're kind of incredible, which is why I'm excited for this. But there's also a reading the book part of the game, so we can eat this most likely. I'm not hungry at all. I guess it's hard to get hungry in a situation like this. Might as well stuff your pockets full of cheese though, just in case. Oh, so much stuff. But is there useful stuff? It's probably a pantry. I think the cheese was starting to give it away. Oh, box. This world needs a little more thick laid on. It's the motion. What? No oh, weapon. Tetanus. I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's you can probably try. It's futile. You know, a waste, useless, pointless. Thank you. June's read a dictionary oh. once before in her life too. Um, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no 
reason, really. She was just using a word. You were the one that was like, oh, could you please explain the whole thing to me? Huh? Oh. What are you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. Walking up to somebody on the street saying, I think things are futile right now. What is futile? I've been thinking about futile a lot because of the Titanic. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? No. No, I, I haven't. What is it? Please explain. In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. Uh-huh. It was called Futility. No way. She read the book. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. Very cool. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg. That sounds, I mean, it's specific course, to the iceberg. Oh, okay. Never mind, there's more. I should just let her talk. I was reading the headline and then getting angry about it. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, I think this all sounds kind of fake. Of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself. Did they already know about the Titanic? The location of the damage. Was it already planned? The Titanic almost exactly. Maybe they knew the iceberg was on the path. It was like 600 billion feet long. This book was written 14 years before the Titanic. Maybe it came out after and they made a mistake. But that's not all. It wasn't just I just don't believe you. You're kind of weirding me out. She is story dumping. She does story dump. It's not really a story dump. I mean, it literally is a story dump because it's literally her just telling you the whole entire plot of the book. But she really, she really likes to to talk about um, mummies being in the Titanic, in the Titanic actually happening in 600 BC, and also somebody knew that the Titanic was going to happen, and I guess two more people knew that the Titanic was going to happen, and t the Titanic was probably shown to happen in a crop circle in 1954. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg. No way. I'm starting to think that these iceberg stories might be popular. Sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to Somebody was just a big day. fan of the book and so ships. they crashed the ship. Right. I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But what if Stead had some sort of special <laughs> wow. to be more specific? What if he had the ability to do automatic writing? No way. What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? Yes. That would be crazy if you were talking about that. What do you mean, yes, that stuff's a load of bull. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. It's all real. June seen it. The sinking of the Titanic. When this dead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell oh, is true. that so could write that stuff? Got him. That's not it. Oh. That's not it. Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. What are you smoking? Did he die on the Titanic? Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. I see. Um, well, Stead uh, possessed himself. <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. It's time to get rid of the tetanus on the knife. I've heard too much of the Titanic stories. I feel like it's getting, she's really like getting to Junpei. What is this? This is just a, uh, okay. Since the lights right is probably still locked, a uh, key card somewhere, true. I didn't mean to click on it. I meant to click down. This door isn't going to open until you solved all the puzzles in the room. I'm sure this is part of Zero's play it. I never would have guessed. Uh, what's there to click on? There's probably a door that I missed. Oh, here's this. I didn't even see this. See the metal grate on top of the grill? They make it like that so the fat and juices can drip off the meat while it cooks. Door seems to be stuck and won't open. It's going. Do you think this is all part of Zero's plan? Probably kind of hard to believe there's a chef on board somewhere. That's true. Can I take the roller? 
There's a rolling pin and colander here. Nothing useful. You never know. You might have to strain something. It's all part of Zero's plan. I can't believe I didn't check the dishes. Still got water in it. There's a couple plates in there, but I don't think they're going to help us much. But you can eat the cheese off of it, and they should be clean. Whetstone? Is that like... Do you do that with the knife? Whetstones are like a thing with knives, right? The blade of the knife is getting sharper by the second. I should be able to cut something pretty good with this. Got rid of all the rust. What is there to cut? I don't know if I've seen... You can actually cook? Who do you think I am? You'd better believe I know how to boil hot water and put in my instant noodles. Fine dining. And I can boil eggs too? Finer dining. Some bottles of seasoning. Okay. Frying pan and two pots. I can't cut anything there. Appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F. I think I might need to know that later. I would imagine food is put here after it's prepared so that the waiters and waitresses can take it out to the customers. But something doesn't seem right here. Why are there so many plates? It could be any reason. I think there might have been a lot of people on cruise ships. They've got a bunch of stuff written on them, but it doesn't look like a code or anything like that. Okay. Can I go over there? Oh, I can. It's a bolt and it's really rusty. Will this even open? We won't know until we try. Let's give it a shot. See if you're going to come out. Damn, no dice. I thought it was going to come up for sure. Rusted bolt. This door won't open unless we can do something. Maybe if we had some kind of lubricant. I can move the doorknob. And we just need to get the bolt off. True. Um, uh, maybe the lights, no lights. Uh, maybe there's something in the, in the cheese. Oh, the cheese was real. It was more of just like a joke guess, but I guess I need to stop cheesing around. Uh, I don't think that's a real phrase, but it works well enough for this. June and I need to look behind you. There's a little green bottle back there. Bottle of oil. Oh, the lubricant. There's cheese on this shelf. Sweet. Nothing else behind the cheese. I make sure to write cheese on all my slices of cheese individually with Sharpie. Just in case I forget what the cheese looks like. Maybe if I were smarter, I would also right kinds of cheese so if i see the one with the holes that's kind of white and i just bought it i would take my sharpie out right swiss on it the yellow one that's kind of plasticky american uh the one with the maggots in it the maggot cheese just a little bit of oil come on you son of a bitch he's getting a little into it like very into it i understand though if you work at like a warehouse or anything for an extended period of time, you start to realize that nothing is more infuriating than like seeing a cardboard box that's maybe slightly heavier than you want it to be and doesn't move as conveniently as you'd want it to. So then like you just start cursing and uh, under your breath at like cardboard boxes as if they were placed there specifically to wrong you. And it really does feel like it. Is this place? I'm starting to think it might be a freezer. Are you blind? That's true. A freezer. I do oh, like that no uh way. all the characters too cold for me. talk back at each other Every and like instantly. Because I want to talk back at the character and say that they're stupid, but then after I say that they're stupid, the other character says that they're stupid. And I realize that, like, oh, that was the whole point of this interaction, and I'm just kind of here as a bystander serving a worthless purpose. I should just sit here and let them say words. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. Yeah. You should stay outside. We, got we wouldn't this. want anyone getting hurt in here. No, I'm fine. My fever's gone now. But... It was more about the somebody literally exploding, Junpei. Oh. No. Why did it suddenly close? I didn't just, like, lose. The knob's frozen. But why? 
looks like the pipe next to it broke and get hypothermia die into the game have to play as hey, Lotus. like You're clover there, right? for the rest open of the game what do you want what's going on the door won't open try opening it from that side please oh fine if you say i guess a bunch of cheese true <laughs> it's no use it won't budge You've got more people in there. You figure it out. There was just like a tea kettle on the shelf in there. Just use that. Oh. Boil some water real quick. Damn it. Anyway, if we don't get moving. Do heads Permanent up. residence? Residence Better evil? I, I'm sure we'll we got three. Figure something out. Yeah, you're right. Let's just take a good look around this room. Okay? We can try. Frozen meat up there. It looks like port. It looks like a tag. A chunk of pork. I suppose I can use the knife with it. Nope. I thought I was just going to cut out the tag. It's so cold. Looks like we got to snuggle up with Santa for warmth. We could su snuggle up as like a group. Does it have to be with just Santa? I think there's something written on here, but I can't read it like this. It'll probably rip. You need to defrost that. Oh, true. It is like frozen solid. I guess the knife wouldn't really work. Throw it at the hard, really uh, hard, really wall. Throw it at the wall really hard. It will explode. It wasn't worth saying anymore after that. I got the words backwards and it kind of was embarrassing a little bit. But that's okay. We can just find more pork. Frozen chicken. I absolutely need all this food. Can't you make that stuff cause an explosion if you seal it in something that's airtight? Then you do that in school, you should never underestimate the power of expanding gas. I don't know how we're going to make it explode. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Yeah. Santa studied. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. How is that going to help us? Uh, rub your hands against it really fast. The friction will make it explode. We might be able to use it to get out of here. Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. I'm happy that they all just have this on hand. I wouldn't have it. Any lower and it becomes a solid. Uh, anywhere that I need to put some commas down? I could figure that out. <laughs> Despite my looks, I am the clean. Tee -hee. Oh, uh, the queen of random knowledge. The clean. It's bad to mess up when you're showing off. Uh, 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 I understand you're that. So cold, your mouth's going numb. Yeah, that's right. You're just doing bad. It on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. Why do we need the? He wanted out of the freezer. Now, it did seem rather odd. Wait, what did I miss? Don't you think uh, you're doing that on purpose? Uh, joke around. Uh, any warmer than that and it'll turn to gas. Any lower, it becomes solid. How do you know that? Despite, uh, okay, that means nothing. Uh, you're just doing that on purpose, uh, giggled. Don't you think that's weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. But his curiosity seemed unaffected. He wanted out of the freezer now. It did seem rather odd. I don't understand. What's the wording here? We're talking about ice becoming a liquid instead of gas, right? Uh, I don't understand. I, it, it is kind of oh, but it can turn into a liquid oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put I it see? under high enough pressure let me get my notebook out while we freeze to death normal air pressure man versus freezer turn into a liquid right except he studies really hard to keep his brain warm and it heats and fuels his entire body 
That's right. Good thing there's this pork cutlet that's here as well. He needs the calories as he's burning things at a very high rate by using his brain to take the notes about the solid state and gaseous form of ice. See, that is weird. Water's a liquid. 32 degrees and 212 degrees. We need the specifics. Why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. Wow. Huh? I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. That's pretty ice hot. With a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. Okay, so true. What's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called Ice 9. Ice so good they made nine of them? Oh, who would have seen the nine coming? Are they stuck in the fridge? Uh, maybe a little ice. colder than a fridge, but you're on the right track. Originally, Ice 9 was a made-up substance invented by a science fiction Why did he author. make it up? But recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Welcome, Danny. That's a lot of sequels. True. But if you've ever been through the summer, I think you can understand the appeal. Especially the summers here. <laughs> Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice 9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. So, Very you can cool. think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds. You know, I came into this thinking that I would be doing like uh, puzzles, like uh, pattern recognition. Uh, which of these looks kind of like a dog? That one looks like a dog. Here's the drawer open. Get a key. Go look for the pattern on the square. But then you do do that. But then you also get like 65 minutes worth of lectures about uh, science fiction ice and stuff. Why are we learning some science right now? That's kind of just the structure of the game. We're going to be learning a lot of trivia by the end of this. Which I'm not going to complain about. It's just not what I expected at all. I thought we were going to be like, oh no, he blowed up, he died. His, his uh, blowed up body is everywhere all over the place and he was murdered brutally and tortured and hurt in the Titanic. And I'm sure there will be some of that after the, the initial the blow up. Uh, but so far instead it's been, oh no, we got locked in the freezer. Let's all have a calm discussion about how cool Ice Nine is. It's very cool, by the way. It's literally ice. This is the best way to teach your students some sick facts. Yeah, I'm locking uh, people in the freezer um, and giving them lists of misspelled words and telling them to figure things out and write down the definitions as well. And if they can do that, then they can leave the freezer and it will be unfrozen and they can come out. But if they don't, they will slowly freeze from the toes up did all sorts of things to it. It helps inspire confidence in your abilities. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920... We've moved from like 1842 to 1920 in our discussion so far. Oh, 1842 was the Titanic books. Which means that I'm pretty sure... Tit was Titanic 1856 then? I feel like I'm starting to put things together on my timeline that like I just didn't need to know because I'm not confident in my historical Titanic knowledge. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. Thank you. The jargon was really confusing me. Crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, 1912? I was pretty close. What was 1842 then? They said 1842 about Not something. Only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize? 1856 would be insane now that I'm thinking about it. It literally doesn't make sense. And it takes like one half second of thought compared to everything else to realize that I'm getting my dates mixed up between the conversations. I think they're putting too many uh too many ice crystals in my brain. Ice crystals of little fun facts, and I'm starting to get them mixed up and rewired in the wrong ways. And it didn't end there. After that day, 
It doesn't matter where in the world it is. All glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Okay. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. Why did it do that? But once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like... It loved to be crystallized. It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. No way. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. Talking to people and being like, oh, dolphins are so intelligent they can communicate. The dolphins are going to enter the Stone Age soon after the monkeys enter the Stone Age. But have you heard of glycerin? I think glycerin's close behind that. I think we're going to have some crazy glycerin based life that's going to be emerging within the next century. And now easily. It's happening everywhere. Was honestly impressed, was kind of annoyed. I was impressed by that. It's kind of weird that we're going for like uh, base reactions instead of like, why can I not just speak in the in the first person? I think that's why I was so confused on the last one. What does that have to do with Ice Nine? True. What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened? I mean, a lot like? Oh, that would be bad. If <laughs> wow. Everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees. Uh oh. Man. It'd be the end of the world. At any rate, we're not gonna have to worry. I guess it would be glycerin based on life forms then. Sorry, I wasn't listening to the lecture all that well. Alright, guys. It's not my strong suit. Of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean Well, you've stopped shivering. Fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously. I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. Uh. I freaking hate the cold. So he brought it cracking, around. Right? We gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? Ice Nine is interesting. Selfish, isn't he? He doesn't want to freeze to death. How dare he not want to talk about this? Almost warm? Oh, just put the bag on it then. Um. Any information that enters your ears go out the other, so you always have to ask again if you're not actually interested. Or if you're actually interested. I feel like if I'm actually interested, then like I'm actually pretty likely to hear it well. But that's- I feel like I'd feel bad if I was like super into it actually, and was like, sorry, can you say that again like three times over? Because whenever you go that far, it definitely feels like you're just kind of not. Oh. So much stuff in here. Why don't we take some of it out, Jumpy? I mean, I was going to. Because whenever you, like, say, can you repeat? Maybe, like, past the second time, it starts to get to the point where you're, like, uh, just saying, can you please repeat that? Just for, like, the sake of pretending to be engaged. But if you're actually engaged, then you have to, like, go into clarification mode and actually make it work. Can I not use the water bottle? Maybe there's something in the water bottle? No? Okay. We got a sturdy rope, though. Maybe if I use the sturdy rope on the thing? Nope. Oh, wait, do I put the meat up to it? Why don't they just punch the ice? It would really hurt their hand. You wouldn't want to feel any kind of discomfort right now. Didn't you find some dry ice? There's warm water. That's what I was trying to do! Oh, I see. Never mind. You're you're right, Santa. Wait, what? Oh, never mind, Santa. No, you're not. It's a thin pipe. True. There's thin pipes right there, too. I've got the sealed container. And I cut it open. No. Um... I don't know why I have the frozen chicken. Say it again, it's really hard. Again, it's really hard. Why right now? June was the one being, like... Uh, 
In the last bit, Junpei was thrown off by Jun being like, hmm, what if we got in the bed together? But now Junpei is begging Jun to go, oh, please say it's really hard. Just one more time. Just one more time. I'm, oh, I'm, uh, it's really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. You can just use a hammer. Good point. Maybe we can use it to break something. Uh, let's use it on the... No? Okay. What do I need a hammer for? Oh! Crush the ice? Oh, we're not just whacking the door. We're whacking the crushed ice. And then you- and then you put it in the water bottle. And then you've made a bomb. Not yet. Unless you hook the uh, to the doorknob, much solutions. This is basically like your uh, equation where you go, oh, x equals uh, three times four minus two uh, hit plus two uh, times whatever. Uh, I'm not good enough at math to continue that, but you get the idea. I had completely lost where I was already by that point. The water bottle bomb. Put water into the bottle with dry ice and make sure the lid's closed. Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. Nice. All right, that's set. You get the idea. I'm glad. So, uh, what do we do now? now you know how to do basic algebra. Congratulations, you you've learned so yeah. much. You know all about ice nine. The already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something. And basic algebra. A small rock. All right, this ought to do the trick. Are we not gonna use like the ah, lamb chop? Nice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys. It adds more fuel. Back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? There isn't really anywhere big enough. True. Yeah, there is. Look, right here. We can hide in there. Oh. Come on, get inside, quick. It didn't look that big initially. Right, here I go. Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way. True. Oops. That is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. They're so unserious. Junpei was so normal. What happened? Yes, whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. All right. He got go. stupider within the last like escape room. Three, He's two, losing it. One. He's got more of the gooner mindset going on right now, and he's getting dumber. Jump. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. The blast must have shattered it. Maybe make it quick yes. though. All right, let's see if it opens. Hooray! We're out. Move. Oh God damn it! Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! Who would have seen that coming? You did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Oh, hey, full on grabbing. Lotus. Ooh, uh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting. Not even trying to solve the puzzle while we were gone? What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't. So everything worked out all That's right. That's fair. <laughs> what the hell? Just Could have kidding. boiled the tea, though. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap! Uh, I'm telling the truth. I mean... If you died, then I'd be in trouble too. That's if fair. Died, then I'd be stuck here and I'd die I didn't too. expect that outfit from this game. Yeah, she's kind of like the only one that's remotely dressed like like not a normal outfit, just like standard day-to-day -day outfit. Oh, that's not true. Uh Snake has like the prince outfit or whatever. I did all I could. There's like a couple of out out there outfits. I even looked around to see if there was any And then Junpei's just wearing like a Jacket with the, uh, I think he's wearing a jacket. I can't even remember. So? When was the last time I've seen Junpei? Who is Junpei? I don't know. What else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? No, oh, no. What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would she? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. That's true. Yeah, I guess so. 
What a weird accusation. All she had to do was bar the door from the outside, but she didn't. Well, she didn't do anything. She's only lazy or negligent. Probably negligent. Not an attempted murderer. They animated her doing the pose. Everyone's got like a pose or two. Well, it's kind of funny sorry. because the mouth sorry, is like, it's not like full oh, on yes, mouth so movement, but they get like a that's couple of animations awesome. moved with them. Hey, I don't know how to describe the to... the mouth movement, but it's like uncomfortable, not quite animation that over. is uh, uncanny. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. It's like talking without moving your chin. How rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you put all that energy into something besides The rest the of the face stays Let's still. Go. Which I know other games do that, but they don't look as weird and I can't explain it. Let me put the chicken on the grill. Or the pork on the grill. Mouth close, mouth open, and mouth mid open kind of frames. Yeah. It it took me a minute to get used to, to be honest. It's not like it's gonna burn right away. We just gotta keep an eye on it, and the paper will be fine. I'm gonna keep an eye on this pork. About time, I'm gonna try taking the paper out. Be careful, sweet of her to care, but I know what I'm. Ouch. See, I told you. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. I talk like that IRL. Talk like what? Oh, without your face moving? That's kind of... You should go into Velilidentriquisanism. The Velilidentr... Velin... The thing where they do the puppets? I can't... Velintro... Velintr... What's it called? It's Velantris... It, it's something like that. Velen Ventriloquist. True! That one. That one was just, uh... You know, I tried my hardest, but... I feel like I had Ventriloquist on standby and I was ready to say it, but then it exited my mouth and became Velantriquism. And I couldn't recover from there because my brain by that point had accepted that it was Velodentriquism and not Ventriloquist, so there was no, like, it, it became the correct answer to me, even though I knew the correct answer by that point already. English hard, I agree. Things frozen stiff, I can't get it out. So are we going to have to cut the meat? Looks that way. Oh no! Who would have seen this coming? I cut the pork. Now we can cut out the paper. C plus 10 plus F. Here's where the basic algebra comes in. Um, good thing this was already spelled out. Over... Not over here. Not over here. Over here. Um, C plus 10. Seafood dish. Okay, appetizer 9. Meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F. Appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F. I thought that was going to be more spelled out for me, but it wasn't. So now I have to like find what, because seafood dish is F, but what, is it, what does that mean? Where do I find seafood dish? Um... So, nine. Where does the A come in? Oh, soup's A. So appetizer has to be C. So it's nine plus 10 plus something. Nine plus 10 plus F. Is there not like nothing about seafood on here? Probably nothing in here. There's milk in there. Milk in an iron barrel. Judging by the rust, it's probably really old. Maybe we shouldn't open it up. I don't think it'd be a pretty sight. That's fair. The light from the pantry. I like that I can look at every single light in the game and it says literally nothing about anything. I was just thinking I'd check if we missed anything. Why would we have missed anything? We searched the whole place. We put our lives on the line. I guess you're right. I don't need to go back there. 
Yeah, that's true. Countertop, we've got a rolling pin. Okay. That's the exit. There's a big plate over the door. I don't think we can open it. Hey, Santa, could you open that door? There's no way I could open that thing. Guess you're getting to that age where your eyes start to go. You'd better watch your mouth, boy, or something won't live. Someone won't live long enough to see that door opened or to get to that age where your eyes start to go bad. Although my eyes start went bad like a long time ago, but I'm pretty young. This has got two of them on the edge. We got to get out of here and fast. Anything with fish. This pork smells good. Mm. I already checked. It's sealed shut. I think that's where the coal goes. That would make sense. I kind of don't know where to find the fish. I heard it was critically panned. I don't know. It's pretty enjoyable with a little pot. No. Oh. Uh, so this is gonna be nine plus. This is probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe we put in the right number. It'll open the oven door. Maybe the note you found earlier. Yeah, I don't. Do you know how to enter those numbers? I think E is for enter and C is for clearing. When I'm ready to submit, I've used a calculator before. So if I screw up, I just press C. Let's give it a shot. I'm not actually ready yet because I don't know where the seafood is. Do you think the note we found in the pork wasn't a hint? C plus 10 plus F. There aren't any letters on the input device. Maybe we can find a way to convert letters to numbers. The voucher we found next to the plates had some letters. Maybe they got something to do with it. The voucher next to the plates. I already saw that. Maybe I'm thinking a bit too simply. Uh, appetizer 9. Meat dish 10. Soup A. Seafood dish F. Nine, oh, it's 9, 10, 11, 12. 9 plus 10 plus 12. Uh, 19, uh, uh, 12 is 21, 31. The answer is 31. I, I get it. No? Uh, I was certain it was just like a basic pattern where it went up one. I felt like I had it solved easily. Nine plates look pretty expensive. Plates for appetite. Oh! Nine. Ten. Okay. Never mind. You just have to click on the plates. For serving meat. There's 15 for seafood. So nine plus ten plus fifteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-four going to embarrass yourself i feel sorry for june huh, huh, huh? who would have seen that coming the lady doth protest too much methinks you are not terribly subtle neither is june <laughs> but apparently they both just don't notice 34 what how is it not 34 I looked at the voucher, yes. C plus 10 plus F. It says appetizer 9, seafood dish F. Plates on the table are 9 appetizer, 16 meat. Ah. Maybe they're using a hexadecimal here. It's a number system that goes 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. You're familiar with base 10, right? That's a normal system of numbers. The base 10 equivalents for hexadecimal numbers would go like this. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, F equals 15, so 12 plus 10 plus 15, and 10 equals 16, 12 plus 10, 12 plus 16 plus 15, the 10 becomes 16 in base 10. But you can think of it as just six letters added onto the normal number system after nine. Um, okay, 12 plus 16 uh, plus 15. 12 plus 16 plus 15. So 8, 28, uh, 33, uh, 43. I think I did that right. 
Maybe we put in the right number. True. No. Yeah. Uh huh. True. Oh, we don't have to go through this every time, please. Forty-three. Oh, I'm so good. It just had to be spelled out for me as if I was a small child in a third-grade math class. Although to be fair, they probably aren't using hexadecimal base ten in their math class. Card. Saturn key card. That wasn't so bad. Let me see if there's anything special on the card. I realize that I should spin stuff around more often. Yay! That wasn't bad at all. I feel like I did like all the basic puzzle solving stuff pretty well that time. You know, I just got caught a little off guard by the uh, strange math systems. You found it. Thank you. I think we've been here before. It all just circled around. The oh, the other, other side, the great. So means... Oh, great job. We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. True. That means the map was right. No way, like... they didn't lie. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where Keep we go going. From here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. Does this mean there's another like it, there are four possible choice? Oh, true. Lots of choices. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A okay. and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. L-shaped? Uh, that's weird because uh, we would win, right? Yeah, there were two doors, but they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Okay. Now, route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Doesn't isn't that where the other group went? Do you went? think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is open? Oh, when it went, went downstairs. Kitchen, it's closed, but it's open now. What do you think that means? We should okay. go downstairs too. It's likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... True. Downstairs and D is the only way. It is. Yep, route D. That means we might just meet then them up set. anyway. That's what we were saying a minute ago. Everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought. D deck is totally on. Who would have seen that coming? Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Yeah. All comfort. Got to wait before opening the door. Hmm. What else is here? Would have made it a lot more uh, tense if Zero had decided to slowly sink the ship. There are two Instead of there let's just put it on pause for a month. Just like the floor above. Hold on. These are kind of different. See? They don't have buttons. Card reader on the side. Another strange mark. Hey, a working look, elevator. This is symbol. Huh? See, it's the woman symbol with horns on it. That seems like Man. Oh, out, 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 out. What was that about the mark again? Uh, uh, nothing. This is a Mercury symbol. The horns uh -huh. symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. I see. Hermes, Thank you for Hermes, being whatever. <laughs> Good one, Santa. That one would have gone hard on the playground. If we can't get this thing to work. These elevators aren't going anywhere. Herpes. We need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Hermes, more like herpes. Probably. I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this? That's happened every left? time we've seen an elevator so far. I think statistically we're going oh, to be ignoring so many doors. all the elevators. Sun already set. Man. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse. Oh, zero will be going down because you'll we'll win. Hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. That's, that's a little okay. more convenient. All right. Let's start with. We can handle four. It isn't locked. I'm going to open it. Jump scare? What? 
Oh, the next choice. Is this an infirmary? What, what the hell is this? This place is huge. Lots of beds. Sleepy time. You can nap if you need to. Don't look very comfortable though. I see food. I eat food. True. I don't know when it, when you typed that, to be it honest. You might have typed that six hours ago, and I would have been none the wiser. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Very hey, cool. Look there. The four doors at the end. One of them's not numbered. The left door says three. Typed that yesterday? Okay, that makes sense. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. Oh, you typed that yesterday because you saw in the future that you would be watching the stream because you were possessed by your own eyes. You knew that you were going to die on the Titanic, so you knew that you had to send a message. That's why. I understand. That's why you need to eat the food. And the rightmost door that way you don't starve whenever you're on the lifeboat on the way out. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? That seems kind of strange, don't you think? I agree. We should no go through the second door. Right now. Let's see if these will open Streamer first. watched can't even keep up with chat anymore. I know, I'm sorry. The chameleon eyes are failing me. I'm going to be living like a cyclops soon. I feel like a cyclops would have it worse than anyone trying to stream. Or maybe just the field of view and the super strong peripheral from a larger than average eyeball would help. That is probably what happened. I knew. Because I saw it too, I was possessed by your dead spirit. Came back in time and told me. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Thank you. I came up with it on my own. The devilish cyclops sitting no down the stream. Trying to look at chat on the second monitor, uh, he has OBS pulled up on a third monitor that's sitting slightly above, looking at the game but realizing that he can't split his vision because he's only got one eyeball. And if he looks at the game, he can't read the chat, but if he doesn't read the chat, the chat gets unsatisfied, but he reads the chat and he can't look at the game, and because he's not playing the game, the chat's getting unhappy, and he, he loses. He has to give up because streaming is uh, ultimately... Uh, favored towards people with two eyes and you need to pity the cyclops that's why the cyclops is driven to do cyclops things if it was that easy to open these doors what would be the i don't even remember what the cyclops does oh we're calling it like by the actual name now instead of like existing wait a minute what's wrong look the display on the red there's nothing on it huh don't you remember the red at the central no. staircase. If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, they're an eight. One. There's nothing on it, right? The other group. I if it's broken. Only one way to find out. Oh wait, it doesn't say anything. Would it say something if there's people Someone in there? Responding. How about the red on door seven? And door three? None of them are working. What does oh, it mean? They're just not in any of them. <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No, that's impossible. Minor inconvenience. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, could make such a stupid, simple mistake? Yeah, I think I that agree with that. Why this thing ain't working. I believe that's also the fair. The device has been removed. Oh, Snake. the other group. Ace, Clover, Seven. I can't believe it. How? How did you guys? How did you end up here? That's Look at the map. Mind. Perhaps we should exchange. We knew that they were gonna be here. They went downstairs. They they were the ones that opened to the downstairs. We're only here because they succeeded. Come on, Santa. Have a little belief in more there than you your own. People all story. over the world believe in you. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... Uh-huh. ...that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Through all of them already? And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. No, oh, that's not good. The ship is getting to them. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. 
And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case? You're right. Huh, there's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot or something. No. Electronic. Go find the thing to put well, in the thing. You need uh, two AA batteries to operate the red. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospitals. Just start looking under all the mattresses. You'll find them under somewhere. Hospital rooms. That's a quarter can that can go into the red slot, activate the thing, and you get a gumball. Yes. And also no your entire body explodes from the inside swallowed. because you swallowed a, a bomb. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. Yeah. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Oh, he knows his astrological symbols. Goddamn things are At least there's two whole people that know the astrology. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Yeah. Well, I kind of odd. Probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the gigantic. Oh, what clever naming. The gigantic? The gigantic. What is this gigantic? The gigantic. That's what you said? She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Oh, what? Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships. Why does nobody talk exactly about this? The, the gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War One began soon after the ship launched. God, they had Titanic look a what like just like they existing. Took her over and made her a hospital ship. And in so the war? During the war, the gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean. Is this real? <laughs> she ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed I see. Like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma and he really wanted obsessive collector of all Titanic stuff. Titanic. Oh, so uh, literally. The guy wanted the Titanic itself, which was impossible. He couldn't have it. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Crazy collection? Do you know about the conspiracy theory that the Titanic sinking was planned to commit insurance fraud? Um, no, but I know about the one where the Titanic was known due to possessed spirits to commit insurance fraud. That would be insane. What a scheme. Are we talking like maybe collecting thousands of people's worth of life insurance for thousands of people outside the boat? Clearly it was like a, a collection of families sending people onto the Titanic so that they would get their life insurance claims whenever like four people died. So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this shit? I feel like I'm out of touch on like the Titanic like lore, the Titanic conspiracy theories, the Titanic people, the Titanic aesthetics. I've never seen the Titanic movie. So like all all the layers, I'm just out of I'm out of touch. And it seems like everyone's got a Titanic fun fact. And all I know is like, oh, did you know that the Titanic got hit by an iceberg in the early 1900s? No yeah, way. At least I think I am. That's impossible. And I was almost about to say 1800s earlier. Years old. Sense of time way Back off. Down. Just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you gotten proof? Proof? Proof that the ship is really the, the cruise ship company had another ship that's similar to the Titanic that they wanted to get rid of that they sank in place of the Titanic to get the insurance money and get rid of the boat. Cruise ship company had another ship that's similar to the Titanic that they wanted to get rid of that. They sank in place of the Titanic. So wait, where would the where would the real Titanic be? In that situation. If there's if there's two Titanics and one of them gets sank, where's the other one? Did they hide it? Suspiciously Titanic shaped garage or like what? Well, uh, this ship's got Where'd the Titanic go? Titanic. Suspiciously Titanic shaped lake. They just kept it? Where? <laughs> Titanic's pretty big, isn't it? They hid the real Titanic under the ocean? <laughs> True. So, I just figured. Just one problem. It's all in pieces and people go and visit it in the water from time to time. So they can't Don't ever actually use it. 
did the cruise ship company just really really want to keep the titanic they were like oh the titanic's kind of pretty and we kind of like it can we please just keep it in dock no I i've got more like well uh i mean i don't know oh uh... i guess your memory isn't back yet is it yeah sorry about that hey 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 whoa wait a minute memory isn't back Nobody's told anyone the lore. Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? Oh, Junpei's just the only one. It's okay, you didn't know anything about the Titanic? I'm glad I'm not the only one. It's kind of funny that, uh, were the two people actively, like, just know there was a character named Rose in the movie? That's true. I actually don't know where Koi is. I know that both of us are in America. And the Titanic happened in America. And we know the least about the Titanic. I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. At least, uh, at least, like, you used- you don't know- oh, actively. So we do just know the least about the Titanic because Locke had like the dimensions of the iceberg on standby like he had personally gone and scanned the thing himself and saw the Titanic sitting at the bottom of the ocean. The Canadians got you covered? Man. I told him I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. You were like a whole minute behind? How does this keep happening? <laughs> Both streams so far. Bell. True. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12. 12. Huh, 12. It's midnight. It's midnight. Then we I took the words out of my mouth. Left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's yeah, we've going. been like spreading too many fun spread. facts. I should know less about the Titanic than I do fun? right now. Especially the gigantic. We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Not just one. All 50 of these Wait, doors. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't the only out. option. Already searched four of them. Four rooms? <laughs> out of 60. It'll be easy. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other oh, three you, cleared in no that time. sounds a lot more sound. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. All right. so Either way, even not knowing the exacts, it does sound more sound, and I'm happy that he doesn't know, because if he did know, that would mean that he had gone individually and gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and counted like 50 different rooms. Yeah. Yes. We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? I suppose you can go faster than that whenever counting something as big and large as doors, but, you know. Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. Going one by one sounds a I'll lot funnier. Find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. Yeah, I would hope you find them within six hours too. We'll just have to come up with another plan. Oh wait, I right. must have been ignoring some of them Let's because it sounds this. like they allotted an amount of time. What's the other plan? What other plan would you come up with? The only option is like finding the thing, right? My hand naturally wandered to the WASD keys, but like I just don't even need to use my keyboard. Point and click, point and click. I'm not used to this. The door opened, Resident Evil 1 reference. What's everyone doing? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Oh, they're just on now. Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. Uh... What? Let me see. Zero just kindly waited. It's like parents waiting on Christmas morning for their... Or uh, Christmas Eve evening. Christmas evening 
It feels wrong to say even an evening after that for their children to go to sleep so that they can don the Santa costume and put presents under the tree. Except Zero had to wait for them to all leave the room to don the creepy gas mask and to put the double A batteries in. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. True. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here. Right? Nope. Correct. None. And you're kind of putting a lot of blame on Lotus recently, oh. Junpei. Where's Snake? Oh. Does that mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't. Either. That is so deep and philosophical. Schroding your snake. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? He got lost. Maybe he's lost. Oh, true. Me and June are kind of synced up. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. <laughs> he no, seems pretty good at it. It's impossible. Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. So he. <laughs> He couldn't get lost. That's impossible. Is Clover wearing like earmuffs? <laughs> I'm gonna go look for It's him. the counter. She's the eyes. Snake is the ears. Hey, uh, Together up, they Clover. form one Wait. creature. Well, that didn't work. Four leafed snake. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! I kind of agree. Oh man, this ain't good. I also oh, agree with that. Yes, what an excellent idea. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. Alright, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Would D please look the other direction? See you all later. All right. Once I we open this door, down. I shall go in and yes, look for the two individuals that have separated but themselves from the group. Let's see. Oh. Hallway with all the rooms, back to the large hospital room. First class cabin, the casino. I'm liking the casino. Okay, let's go, Jumpy. We just start from hey, top to bottom. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a Man. proposal for you two. What I mean, it? might as well. well. I like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't Thank we you. team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You... I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital. Room. True. The only doors there. She's got the three, math seven, ready. And eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What? Isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals, equals twenty-six. 26. Wow. Root of twenty-six. Two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, snake, sand. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three and one plus zero eat the digital root for those four. That's right. And you know the number one <laughs> door is Man. in the big hospital. Let's just kill them all. Of course I know that. No! Our... Of course not. What kind of woman? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them. I don't think that's how this works. Did you forget about the giant bomb that's really inside of everybody? Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, it would probably no take a little bit of time to get away. To rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. Oh, welcome, Jury Han channel and viewers. Just joined. Say hello. I'm saying hello. We're playing uh, 999. And uh, we are currently in dialogue mode, so we're listening to a lot of people argue about the dramas of being inside the Titanic and what that means for the people inside and how they have to add the math. And if they add the math correctly, uh, they can go through the doors. But if they add the math incorrectly, they can't go through the doors. But if they add the math correctly with the inconsideration of others, then about five people are going to literally explode. Um, there were bombs oh, no. inside of everyone. Yeah. 
they kind of got like knocked out and then uh bombs were inserted into their mouth and into their stomach welcome froggies welcome ghost Even if we brought seven with us, thank we you be able to get off the ship. uh welcome relic zurge left a like nice gameplay thank you the four of us couldn't open door nine right now the gameplay i do appreciate the nice gameplay but the gameplay really does amount to left clicking on a text box right now which is maybe not the most exhilarating thing but i do appreciate it welcome ginja howdy uh welcome Locke. you came from the jury stream as well i i really appreciate it Locke. uh, uh seeing you be here is very exciting but an exit can be found seek a door that carries a nine yeah, that the digital root for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add eight Ace to, make, to make, nine. make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace two, we'll be stuck. Oh no! Title kind of suggests that you're playing Hell Divers two or Portal two. Team building exercise where you get blown up. I guess that's kind of fair. Hell Divers two is more of just a somebody dropping an orbital strike on your head, or just they land on top of your head and your little body pieces go literally everywhere. Um, Portal 2, the blowing up is a little less exciting than that. That's about on par for your brain power. Seems like gameplay that you can get behind. I think you can handle a left click. I believe it. Let's try and find another way, okay? What happened since the start of the stream? We solved the kitchen. We got through the kitchen. It looked kind of like not very uh, crazy. And we got locked in a room, made a bomb, blew up a door, opened the door, went through the door, uh, went through the kitchen, opened the kitchen, put a uh, uh, cutlet on the grill, uh, got paper out of the cutlet, and then learned how to do hexadecimal base 10 math. And then also we learned about the origins of ice 9 and the ice that freezes at 96 degrees Fahrenheit, or you could think of it as not melting until 96 degrees Fahrenheit. isn't going to be an exception to that. And also it's Ice-9 because uh, Nonary, and there, we learned about the Titanic, and we also learned about the Gigantic, and did you know that the Titanic, uh, Locke has seen the iceberg itself and was able to map out uh, the exact dimensions of the iceberg and know exactly how much it weighs down in the water? And he knows that if you took it out, the sea line would maybe shrink about three inches. What is the last thing, Jur I mean, the hair said? The last thing? Uh, what do you mean? I do. I don't understand. I was about to say I do not, but then I was gonna say don't. So then it became don't. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. That's, uh, probably not. That's just. I'm not a fan of the three people dying. There's some things I need to think about. I'm thinking about asking somebody else. I really th I don't. Is that how Canadians uh say? Don't? Yeah. It wasn't very pleasant, you're right. The rabbit antagonist? Uh... Uh... I don't get the connection. I'm gonna be honest, the joke is flying so far over my head. Yes, you're right. Is it just jury reference, or is there some? Is there a different layer that I'm missing? Yeah. All right. Where should we go next? Don't I don't knew if I sound like that when I say it. Oh wait, wrong game. What was the game idea? Let's go take a look at the first class. Because I still don't get it. Clover. Talk to her. I know you're really worried. If I talk to too many people, is there like a clock on the side that's going to be like Catherine that shows up and says, oh, it's 9.30 p.m. Also, that guy just left the bar, and now that he's left the bar, you're never going to talk to him again because he's going to die in his sleep. Except, like, everyone's going to die because we don't have enough time. Don't is more dunt. Dunt. I didn't do that. I didn't mean it. I'm oot in the restaurant and I don't order a fish. Hmm? How do you approve of my Canadian I accent? For that bad? I didn't okay? think I did anything that crazy. 
<laughs> I didn't mean it. It sounds good. Thank you. I've been practicing extensively. I even do it in my sleep. You know how people have like the uh, uh, the little audios where they're like, oh, listen to Chinese uh, while you sleep. Uh, learn how to say, hello, I would like to buy a chicken sandwich in Mandarin just by listening to this for six hours on loop. And then you wake up knowing how to say, hello, I would like a chicken sandwich. Except it's like that, except now I know how to wake up and say, Hello, I'm Oot in Canada, and I don't want a chicken sandwich. Easy Canadian citizenship? I'm getting my citizenship card soon. Uh, um... Why are you still here? Did you hear me? Well, it's a little awkward, whatever. I mean, I don't think I did anything. I just wanted to say my bad. If you are gonna leave... All right, let's go, June. I know an insult word in Chinese. I know an insult word in Canadian. <laughs> it's quite the robust language. Uh, really need to find Snake for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? Maybe not the casino. Uh, why don't we go? We can take a look at that hallway with. Okay, let's get going then. Me and June were just kind of hanging out, oh, getting yelled at by Ace, literally hey. everyone. Where Ace seems you? like the most pleasant person uh, easily. Is it French? No, it's Canadian. Answer me if you're there. Uh, what should Junpei do? I will just go to Ace. Ace seems like a nice guy. Uh, hello there. You yelled at me to come over. Why are you sounding like you're surprised? Snake is... Well, that's off. I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, nope. Doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. Really over here, over going. here. Hello, I come here. Please come. I have something to say to you. It's important. It's urgent. Sprints across as fast as possible. It sounds like he's in danger. He desperately needs help or else he'll lose his arm and possibly the bomb inside of him will blow up. Get to him. Oh, hello, Junpei. Uh, what did you need from me? Did you need anything? How strange to see you here. I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm happy that you were willing to discuss this with me. Wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. I agree. For Clover's sake. Right. I kind of really like him. The weird, like, talking. Oh, way, um, do you he talks Clover weird. Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you Why would they lie? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Straight up a Bethesda NPC? True oblivion? Yes, you know, now that you've mentioned... You shouldn't have come here. Hello. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The I agree. We really can't afford to waste I've time. wasted so much time, it's almost impressive. Let's get back to this. You can leave this area. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. All the areas are taken by people. About that was, like Ace said. Finding snake is our Did Ace fight. murder right. Snake? Why, why are we suspicious now? Last time we were suspicious, it was like the least serious suspicion that I think I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Hey, wait. He's not even trying. Santa. I'm dying. Hello there, traveler. True. Everyone knows time stops when you talk to someone. That's got to be true. Uh, I'll talk to Santa too, just because I feel obligated since I've spoken to literally everybody else on this entire boat. Uh, but quite frankly, I don't really feel the need to talk to him, and I just want to make that clear. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. What's there to check out? Why? Is there what? It's not bothering you? Huh? This guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? You're just looking at it. You're not solving anything. Yeah. That's, well, I'm curious too, but... Looking at my computer thinking, man, that's cool. That stuff in there sure does run. Not taking it any further. I could look into this further and maybe learn about the insides of the computer if I were to dissect it. That's not even an instinct that I have. I will just continue to look at the case. I can't even see the wires or the components that are inside of the computer. Quite frankly, before I open the computer up, I can't even be sure if there's anything in there. It might just be a big ball of magic that's connecting me to the Wi-Fi and to the power grid and also allowing myself to play the 999 video game. But it also could be wires and components, and I don't know if I have the interest of it. I'll just keep the curiosity alive, because curiosity is what f uh, fuels us as humans. Who do you think fixed this thing? Someone other than the eight. 
I think zero. I think it was probably zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he did. Oh wait, no, I take it back. I think it was Snake. Who do you think took that stuff out in the probably zero? Yeah, exactly. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? Yeah, that's my bad. I hadn't thought that one through, Santa. I owe you an apology. Sense. Why do all that work? Just to put it back. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It does. So what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? Uh, so it's gotta be Snake. One of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo, we have a winner. And but there's literally true. only one person that could have. Doesn't want the rest. Yeah, but why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means it's probably just else. Lotus then, because she's got like something to hide, right? No, you know who does have something to hide? It was Ace, because uh, Junpei said, "Hmm, awful suspicious." And Junpei's never been wrong before so far in his whole life. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Oh, also, what else has happened is that Junpei this time, last last session, June was the one that was like, "Oh, let's get weird. Let's look at this uh, bed." Uh, looking in Junpei's eyes, uh, blushing. Now, uh, Junpei hears June say the word hard and is like, "Please repeat that. Please repeat that. Please repeat that." So the the dynamics have changed completely. True. <laughs> Thank you for the awkward laugh and the sad stare. Um, it's not Clover. It's either going to be Ace or uh. Let's go have a look. I'll go where we. Going to be Ace or Lotus. Nobody's here. Let's look somewhere. But where? Let's go. Check the okay. casino. And if there's nobody here, okay, that just does mean the hallway with the first class cabin. Why is this? Oh, this grayed out because it's grayed out. Let's go back down. Like the on-screen chat. Yeah, I know I said that I'd have it by now, but I've been kind of I've I was too busy to set it up. It is Friday, so you got to it pretty fast. Uh, thank you. I worked on it very hard. Uh, there was a lot of technicalities that went into it. Um, after my computer literally exploded and I couldn't see the screen on my computer anymore, I made sure to get it done before I put the computer back together. Nobody's here. Let's look That's just the kind else. of dedication that I have. And I hope that everyone uh, appreciates that. Okay. I don't think anyone is here. I'll make sure to have it like for real by, uh, by Sunday. And that's not a fake for real. It's a for real for real this time. Because the excuse this time, I do think the excuse is valid this time. Where my computer just straight up wasn't functioning correctly for uh, way too long. But now that we have proper computer functionality, I think I feel more comfortable spending some time throwing a chat on screen. It'll be working by Sunday. I thought about doing it before the stream today, but I didn't want to potentially mess things up before like a, an hour before the stream started. I figured that would have been putting too many things at risk, especially since this is the first stream since the embarrassing Resident Evil stream where my computer didn't work and also the screen was frozen for an entire six and a half minutes. So uh, this was like a necessary step. We're kind of easing into it, but if we think about it exponentially, by the time we get to the fifth stream, I will have completely mastered everything that we have. We need to get moving. Yeah, probably. No choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's He's just left. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. True. Yes, I have a proposal. Simple math. Your last proposal was to kill half the people. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. It is very harsh. At least she's being honest though. I trust her a lot more now. We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, three people will be left behind. Will be if we split into two teams of five and two people respectively. Two people, so you have to. Groups of three and leave one person out. Then only one person will be left. Behind. So one person has to take one for the team. I think I'm gonna be the heroic type and say that everyone else can go. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, let me let me think about the math here. So we're missing. Uh, 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 two groups of three, one person, uh, six, seven. We're missing two people, Snake, and so we have 
one through what was snake's number i can't even remember ace is one uh two three whatever i can't do that kind of math um but I don't know why she would lie about just one single person. So even though I do think that she's like a liar usually, I think she's being real this time. There's no reason to think that she's being real other than the fact that she was kind of honest right off the bat. And I kind of like that she was kind of honest right off the bat saying that we just have to kill somebody. I think that's the most clear anybody's been on this boat since we got here. So, uh, I'm on your side. You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna- Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logical. It was either just know, trust her or think about doing the math or call her out and then get called out for being incredibly wrong. And that would have been embarrassing. And I don't know if my ego can take that personally. And I would have had to have been the one that stayed behind because uh, I would have been destroyed mentally and uh, physically or wish I would have been destroyed physically. I would be destroyed physically yeah, after the bomb off. goes off. And one person has to sacrifice themselves. No, but thankfully we cool. can continue on What's because I didn't have my ego destroyed. To just sacrifice someone like that? Well, hopefully if Snake comes back. Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant. We, we could all just stay. Anyone. I told you, that's impossible. Can like everybody that? just go? Oh, wait, no, everybody can't. Down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people. That's right? uh, such a goofy way to talk about it whenever we're talking about, exactly. like... That's how democracy works. And for that reason, people like the only fair way getting exploded or not exploded I guess it is like the glass half full kind of thing what do you think? don't cry over no. spilled milk Santa is literally no. sus Leomogus I am sussed out by Santa oh what if Lotus teamed up with Santa to like uh, lie to us and make us think that they're correct whenever they're not correct No, they wouldn't team up. They, like, hate each other and stuff, All but, like, right. not That's actually. One, They're, one, like, wholesome hate each other. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. That's true. Huh. Glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote. Basic math. Decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. How? <laughs> We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find it. The character art style is pretty cool, I agree. They're, like, super varied. They're, and, you know, some of them are, like... Some of them, like... Ace looks like big guy. Junpei looks like guy. Akane looks like girl. And then, like, the designs get, like, more and more interesting. Let's go look for him together. Like, I don't know, like, what Lotus is supposed to be trying to look like. Where did she get picked up from? Everybody else just got picked up from home. Right. Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. And then Snake wearing the the crazy like prince outfit is kind of funny too. That won't be necessary. Like he got picked up straight out of a play. I will stay. That should solve our problem. Yes. I knew Ace would be the one. Uh, uh, Ace, what are you saying? He's real. He goes do down that. with the ship. That won't solve anything. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. Welcome, Asoki. I believe you'll come back. Currently trying to have people not explode, no, no, but we're discussing who would explode in the conditions that somebody needs to be left behind. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. That's what it's looking like. You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. Yeah. True. But that will not be true. The case That's true. The That's pretty true. What? Please. The Lotus. The Lotus strategy is true. Rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on True. earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then... That is, like, the big perhaps problem? you would prefer to stay instead of me, or perhaps... I can just end the game right now? Behind. You see, there's no other choice. Ace is just willing. And I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. 
Don't worry yourselves about me. Oh man, I feel bad now. No, he must have seen something because we knew that he was hiding something in the hallways. At least we don't know, but Junpei was like sussed out by him, which means that there's something going on, which means that maybe he has snake hidden. So he's like, oh, we'll just get the rest of them to go away and that we can just go through a door together and our numbers will equal uh, nine. I don't remember what snake equals, but I'm sure they get to, to nine so they can open the final door. Let's accept his kind offer then. Good. And then the rest of us get completely screwed over because Snake and Ace went through the final door together because they're like actually secretly best friends. And uh, because they're secretly best friends, uh, they leave everyone else behind. I love the non-binary games. I don't think that's quite the name of the game. Well, what are you waiting for? But we're on the correct direction. We're wasting time. The 999. You're right. I wish I had like a know. clean 999 logo to slap on the thumbnail instead of like, oh, the Nonary Games. Since the Nonary Games is just the name of the series, it feels kind of weird to have that there. Because now if I move on to the next one, it's just going to continue to be the Nonary Games logo. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait, all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has We've to been be through it. To get everyone out. There ha right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's got to be another way. Fine. Forget about it. I'll what? It uh, I, I was just thinking about it. We we're kind of rushing here. Ace. I was like, oh, let's think. And then Ace. you yelled at me for not wanting to think. We but I had to, like, given in to thinking. Think about this. He doesn't look very happy with the decision. <laughs> He's sitting there depressed, the mouse cursor on the face. True. Ace! Oh! Did he just... What happened? Ace, say something! He must, like, have heart problems or something. I'm alright. How are you alright? He was dying anyway. A syringe? Soparil Beta. Did... Oh. Did you use this? Yes. It's just... Anesthetic. He's anesthetic for what I found it earlier while we were searching the I thought it might be useful later <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it. Oh, no. why did you do this? Didn't I tell you I'd like to take a he just nap. doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I really am. No, I don't think my snake theory holds up anymore hmm? Is there something He just wants to go out I just like to sleep a little. Could you? Please keep it down. Keep it down. The voice acting is very nice. No. I like the voices a lot. But I thought they were gonna. I was worried that they were going to be annoying. I talked about it briefly in the last one too. He's just done with everyone. I think he's done with more than just everyone. He's done with like everything. He looked so unbelievably depressed in the last one. In the last uh, panel. Panel isn't quite right. It's not like a, a manga. Ace, Ace. He's at peace. Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. Yeah, he just made the right. decision for everyone. <sighs> like you even mean that? True. Can you say something? No, nothing. Yeah, we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? Got to split the groups. Well, we haven't decided who's going and what. Oh. Enough of this screwing around. You first, Lotus. I, um, Why? I thought we were just gonna go by like who made up what numbers. numbers. Got it. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. And my bracelet is seven. What? What did you just say? Seems kind of sus. Yeah, he just. Oh, I didn't even think about that. He might. He it very well could be that he just like grabbed an empty syringe and was like, oh. I'm just gonna pretend like I use this and then lay down and then like let them all walk away and then also just meet up with my best friend forever snake and then we'll go through the door and then screw everyone over. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei? Which... What? Door three. Let's split this up further. Uh, I haven't been with seven yet and I'm kind of like not hugely trusting dancer but um, Dancer was also just part of the classic gang in the last room, so I'm not like 
I wouldn't be upset if I ended up with Dancer. So I'm kind of torn here. It's either, obviously not three, seven or eight. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. Uh, you going on it? So eight. I, I, I think I'm gonna go oh. with eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. Oh wait, that was Junpei talking. I thought it was Santa talking. June's got to go through seven. What? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only oh. three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven. And four, six, and seven go through eight. You really don't like seven? I'm fine with seven. Four, five, I don't know seven, seven. Go through seven. And three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three. I get the idea. No other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no. Oh no. Saying, we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Well, it wasn't really that long. It was just a couple of hours last time. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other. We're being a little over dramatic right now. But only for a while. This is just, just give it like a couple minutes. Doors, right? Didn't we literally not see each other for like 20 years before happening to see each other again on the boat? Wasn't that like a big deal? I think we can handle an hour and a half away. I think we'll be okay. All that seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Yeah, what? yeah. I mean, there's no guarantee. You think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero That's true. Top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn That's sure also that true. The level design by Zero is impressive. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. Seven seems like a cool guy. I don't want to be misunderstood there. Yes. Promise. I just also don't want to completely write off Dancer. Or uh, uh, Lotus, because Lotus has been straight to the point the whole time, even if it does seem it. like Lotus is maybe trying to kill us. And I, will both go I think the maybe groups. trying to kill us blatantly is a sign of honesty, and that means that they're not actually trying to blatantly kill us, which means that there's like uh, a level of trustworthiness there that I can't guarantee with Seven, because Seven uh, doesn't even know his like own existence because he has amnesia or something. Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Who am I going Let's with? Move. Lotus is the name. That one wasn't a joke. Lotus seems less sus than everyone else. I think I agree because she's like blatantly sus. She doesn't care that she seems sus, which means yeah. that she's like okay. the least sus because it's like the most honest one. Then shall we go? But Clover, I also trust Clover because she yelled at us. It was like, go away. I hate you. <laughs> It's open. But like, okay. you know, in like a not Hurry. I'm going to murder you kind of way. Just in a you're annoying kind of way, which I think is completely fair. Because, you know, even if you're in like a life and death kind of thing, yeah. you probably will have to deal with like somebody that's annoying if you're like on an airplane that's like 3 billion feet above the air. Uh, that's called space. And also you're just randomly selected people that needed to get a, a ticket to London. There's definitely going to be somebody you don't like, you but you can, you can work with them. What's happening? Seconds left. We got to find the thing. We found the thing. Twist is it's actually you that started this all. I'm the zero. No, I'm five. Uh, I, that would have been like super funny if I was nine. It would have been kind of blatant because it would be like, oh, nine rolls into zero. Uh, five doesn't roll into zero, so it can't be. What an unpleasant girl. Can you imagine like how basic it would feel if it was like, oh, but actually you were the zero the whole time. And you're sitting there with a nine and they blatantly, they said, oh, the nonary games and they're zero because the nine becomes the zero whenever you become ten. That's how age works. Maybe you get to your 10th birthday and you immediately stay. become an infant. Too late now. I better catch up to them. Hmm, I'm finally starting to gain a strong That's grasp on language and possibly the world that I'm living in. Not a strong grasp, but a, a basic understanding. Uh 10th birthday hits Goo Goo Gaga. 
There's a door on the left, though. Goo goo gaga. Wah, wah. Goo goo gaga. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Can't wait to reach the age of 10. <laughs> Me neither. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Hitting 70 years old. Jinpei. Huh? Skipping to old man age. I'm 59 right now. Dementia setting in. 60 hits. Back to infancy. Toddler age. The second you hit like one year old, you jump to the one that happened after. So like the oldest person in the world is like they hit 99 the they hit 100 the baby mode for a year back to 101 their bones have shattered they're crumbling at the everything and they can't even recognize anybody that has ever existed maybe it's from monitoring something jury still here you were just kidding you're not underaged what the hell what you're not <laughs> Looks so creepy. I was certain that ten year olds could have jobs. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a I don't like this at all. I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be <laughs> Hold on, getting the lobotomy in the escape room. Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. I don't think that thing's gonna This will help my problem solving skills. I don't know. I have a little bit of brain fog. Why don't we get a needle and shove it directly into my brain? I mean Look at all those cables sticking out of Or was it like a drill? I don't I can't remember the lobotomy procedure. I don't know. All I know is that they did some Stop. nasty to your head. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> what is she? I don't think she's very happy. Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I, I'm just worried. I'm just, I just, <laughs> been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to. We're just trying to work as a. I mean, never mind. Can, I I don't trust. I mean, I trust Clover, but I, she's Maybe not going to be easy to work I with. I can be quiet if I want. Just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind. Thought it was like a steel rod that uh, was hammered into the brain. Uh, that's. That, you're probably right. You sure did seem like an expert on icebergs, so I wouldn't be shocked if you were an expert on lobotomies too. What don't you know? Uh, but you again. definitely know more than me. Uh, the specifics have been revealed. Something Maybe you're something talking from experience happened. on both situations. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Uh, I, I think it's fair, actually. I think I'm on Clover's hey, side wait. now. Clover, hold on. That way is. I told you to leave me alone. Clover, watch out above you! Uh oh. Inconvenient. What the heck? What's going on here? Maybe you should have looked for the obvious trap. Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, fine. You'll never do it on your own. You can do great things if you work together. Animation in the game is peak. I kind of like the cheesy CG 3D animations on the rooms. It's like it's a it's a form of like ugly charm that is never going to happen ever again because you know we've moved beyond DS strength. Wait, believe it or not. Like no, now it's like the Switch 2 is gonna be as stronger than the PS4. It's like that's cool. It. It's gonna look good for sure, but I can't have the ugliest CG that I've ever seen in no character animations. Lotus and I can look around out here. Visual novel machine. That's probably actually true. I wasn't playing visual novels whenever I was like 10 or whatever. But if I did, it probably would have been the craziest thing of all time. Visual novel players must have had like the most fun they've ever had whenever the DS came out. You can take the visual novel on the go. It's pretty good. A lot better than steel, uh, still images. I agree. I'm going to save because it's been a while. That's not the save. Um, there's a button that says save. I just kind of thought it was going to be file. Because that just kind of makes sense. Uh, no. CG doesn't offend the eyes at least. It really doesn't. Do something, please. We're trying to figure that out. But, you know, maybe you could have not done what you did. Um, coin lockers. Ethanol. Do you need a drink? Guess that's all there is. Lockers are larger than the ones on top. Let's see if there's anything useful. Nothing. Computer, we can play cool math games. 
This is the computer. The power isn't on. There is a power button. I don't see a power cable. No power cable. This thing is- Oh, this is basically like my troubleshooting. I need to turn the computer on. Power cable. Power cable isn't plugged in. Plug in the power cable, turn on the on switch. It doesn't turn on. Something isn't right. And then soon they'll have the serial experiments lane room with thousands and thousands of wires all over the room. Trying to solve what had gone wrong. Corn juice? Keyhole? Another computer? Doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder if it's maybe with the key. Call me crazy. But there might be a key for the keyhole. I'm not entirely certain though. We've yet to find the key. I'll take that. Ah, look at that. I hope he has the origami fingers to stick inside the points of the power supply so that he can test if the power supply is actually working or not. Or else he might be out of luck. Uh, let's put the thing in. Can't use this? Oh, he needed the little fingers to check. The standard PSU plug? Uh, too bad it's for the wrong thing. Because this one is a little unstandard. Which means that this plug is just worthless, I guess. Uh, control, red light means locked. I think that makes sense. Red light is on and it's got to be locked. There's a green light just below it, although that one isn't lit. Uh, North American plug? I don't know. Uh, what makes a plug North American? Cool gamer setup? True. Hello, I am the Canadian plug. Hello, I'm the American plug. Where are the plugs different at? Aren't they different in Japan? I don't know if I'm making that up or not. Oh, levers. When the plug speaks American, then it's American. Howdy, I am the American plug. Hello, I am the Canadian plug, and I am Oot. Trying to power my computer? This isn't funny. Hands on the clock have stopped moving. The clock may stop, but time goes on. <laughs> wow. Figure out a way out of here. I agree. Uh, there's got to be like just something on here that I'm missing. That's cool that like something might be useful, but why can't I see what specifically might be useful? Can I click on the chair? The dials? You laughed at it, don't worry. I'm glad that somebody did because it was looking bleak. I didn't even bother checking these because they were lit red. Can't hurt to give these babies a try. Uh, never really went to other countries before, but I figure there'd be adapters for plugs. There's gotta be, but like, how does... does do wattages just work like that? What if the thing just explodes? Papers in them? They look full? But it's all technical and stuff, I don't get it. Oh, uh, well, we can get some fun facts. Maybe Clover is actually, like, a... a scientist? That has a deep understanding of this kind of thing? I don't know what the point of this is. Oh, I can probably, like, ask her to do stuff. Do you think you can erase it? This is a permanent marker. Do you know how to erase ink from a permanent marker? Ethanol? Uh, take this. I thought maybe he would just automatically do it if I did it through the window, but I suppose it would make sense that I have to use my legs to physically walk over to the bars that have the holes in them for them to grab. Your clothes? Just kidding, please don't look at me like that, you're scaring me. Well, might as well just use the clothes. Corn juice? Uh, I don't get the, the corn reference. I don't know my ethanol lore. I'm realizing that I'm kind of clueless on lots of these little fun facts. I need to learn more basic trivia, so I, whenever somebody says corn juice, I can start chuckling and go, ha ha ha, true corn, corn, corn. That's so true, the corn juice. That one was straight off the cob. Can you unplug that cable and bring it over here? I can, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. It's no good. How about just the plug? The plug. 
the connector. It's the sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies into a plug with two metal thingies. Not useless, that's good. If you could have an anime name in the game, which would it be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that at all. An anime name in the game? I don't understand. Wait, did she give me the thing? You trust me? I feel kind of... I thought you hated me, like, two seconds ago. Did we get the thing? She unplugged it, right? I don't think she even knows we're calling her. Wait, wasn't she gonna hand me the thing? But she's just wandering around the table? I think she's forgotten about the... what? wonder what they wash here. There, there are these weird colored stains all over the sink. Those are the stairs I just came down. The bars are just above you. Soak it in ethanol and then use it to wash off all the stuff from the permanent marker. So I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. True. She's got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with a bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get to work on the table. Um, let's see if she, like, can... Okay. It's wiping the permanent ink off. The drawing. We're revealing more. Understanding. Basic, uh, shapes. Maybe now we can get the thing? No? Okay, never mind. That would have, uh, been too clear. A bunch of numbers in grid. Maybe it's some tic-tac-toe or Sudoku. Could you write the numbers down and then hand them to me through the bars? What about a code name? Uh, Joe Bob, I think, would be good. Uh, okay, so she's gonna come to the bars now, actually, though? Paper with the numbers acquired. Uh, maybe also the plug, thank you. So it was just, like, make her do other thing, too. Put the thing in the thing. And now you have the adapter. Uh, maybe you have to search to uh, take the little twisty tie off. That's not the correct computer, this is the one. Pretty sure this will work under the desk. Let's plug it into the monitor, it ought to do it. Power's on. It's not... oh. Pretty optimistic. Who would have seen that coming? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. It's just right? gotta, like, run on it. It's just gotta do the thing, right? Just this keyboard and is there anything special that I needed to do? The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So True. Why is it working? Oh, he's, he's wired. He has the Ethernet. Uh, a wireless display. Yes, it connects. To oh, so wireless. futuristic. Hence the name. No way. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes. They invented wow. Bluetooth. Oh. Oh, it stopped. Password I don't know how wireless bullet. displays worked. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again. There must Could you go take a look? Yeah. Well, it's probably the. What are you going to do? Well, uh, numbers. I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own. Yep. What does that on mean? My own. Lotus? All right. Let's kick some wait, 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 wait. So she works as like a hacker lady? Uh, what was the whole point of everything what? that we've seen up to this point? Didn't expect that, did you? Nope. Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast. I, I can't even see your fingers. Oh my god. 65 words per minute. Well, what happened to the art style? Amazing. It became full screen. It's crazy the things that can happen whenever you have a background. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean again? I'm not into you. Her chest is wildin'. I know, I know. Don't be so stubborn, shy boy. We were all just thinking about the hacking process right now. Didn't have to... Didn't know that the outfit was needed for a female hacker. I am not being stubborn. I am not shy. It's like the people that wear the uh, anonymous masks. She's so skinny, but her boob fat wants to escape. I am a young, healthy, 21-year-old man. 
True. I'm not gonna fall for an old lady like you. Old lady? Did you just say old lady? They keep going for the old angle. Uh, well, I, uh... <laughs> I've had enough of you. Go somewhere else. You're bothering me. Or the programmer sock? What? The programmer sock? Let's see if you can find a password hint or something. I don't understand. I'll try and open this from here. Uh. She is kind of old. I don't know if she's looking old. You're distracting me. Go. Now. Fine. I, I guess I'll go. I think we've just kind of decided that she's ancient and she didn't like fight that. And so instead no, please, she's whatsoever. just ancient in our heads. Didn't find anything useful and so by like uh, common consensus she has become yeah. ancient in her Looks mind. Like this time. All right. Bullseye. How did she do it? I, did it. I thought we were going to have to use the Sudoku puzzle. See. What is that? But instead, she knows how to make the puzzles escape from the I computer screen. It just showed up after I cracked Similar to uh, skinny but boob fat. You think it's a puzzle? It certainly looks like one. Huh? Uh, aren't you going to, I don't know, do more computer stuff? Do more stuff. No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more. Pro See? You just look you at want. it. <laughs> It won't let me do any more very hard uh, programming. Instead, I have to solve this basic so puzzle. I can't figure it out. Can um, well, I guess I'll leave this to you. It's a basic that. puzzle, Junpei. You can do it. What? Let me take a break, all right? Really fried the brain. Really need to get a whole bunch of pork cutlet that I you left behind brain. in the kitchen. You should have taken yeah. a little snack break. Well, I guess you're right. The calories Thanks, were Lotus. burned in the freezer. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. Uh, I did. Now, I better take care of this myself. Thank Don't you. Make sure you know else. to thank people. No, thank you. How are the puzzles in this game so far? I like them. It's like the main draw to me. Uh, is that just another way of saying I don't know this programming language? I suppose she wouldn't know this. This seems uh, to be uh, very uncommon. This one's going to take me a while. I'm going to be... A oh, fourth touch is your end. So you have to do this in... Uh, never mind, that did not take me very long at all. That was embarrassing, Lotus. That took me like half of a second to calculate the exact blockage. It's like a Rubik's Cube, but one-sided and with two colors. You're so big brain, thank you. I've been training this moment for years. Bunch of green squares on the screen. Lots of things. The streamer is so good. Never doubted it. I'm starting to think that you thought it was going to take a long time. I'm not like certain why I believe that, but maybe just the tone that you have in your words. Uh, they don't sound entirely genuine. And you're being a real, a real downer right now. Hurting my feelings. The earth symbol matches a keyhole and a door on the A deck. If that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key right now. Well, that just kind of sucks. Oh, but there is another key that we can put into the computer. Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? I have many. In fact, I have like five hours worth of minutes. Um, uh, whenever that time is met, I will literally blow up, and so will you. Never mind. Hey, hold on a minute. What does? Sorry, just forget about it. It's... It was integral to the puzzle, but also I'm really sad right now, so I've decided to not tell you. Thank you for everything. What is this all about? We can talk about this when you get out. Just hang on, Clover. I'm going to get you out of there right away. Yay. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a genuine smile out of this chick. I don't know how you did it, Junpei. But she went from hating you as a person to loving you. The shape sure makes it seem like it goes to this machine. I'm turning it on. It's full of letters. Showing some kind of warning power restored to experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. That can't be good. Hold on. Let me check on somebody that might be like about to die. Creepy mannequin. Anything on anything? That's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you play with it a little? I don't think that's a good idea. I think I'm about to watch Clover die to a mannequin. I don't think it's working. Uh, nothing is happening. 
uh, make sure you stand nearby the mannequin with like porcupine uh, needles sticking out of his head. It'll be completely safe. Uh, oddly enough, the mannequin does seem to have like robot joints too. I'm sure it'll be completely fine. Nothing opened there. Maybe I just do need to look at it. Isn't doing squat. Okay. Oh, levers. Not very impressive. Never mind. Some of them might be useful. They're not. It's a clock. The hands have stopped. Okay, they didn't start moving all of a sudden. Inserted the key, turned it on. So it must be something with uh, uh with Clover. I think. Maybe, hold on. I never checked the... Gotta head out. Good luck with the rest of the puzzles this stream. Thank you for stopping by, Froggies. I hope the rest of the puzzles do go well as well. Clover's note, the note Clover copied from the st uh, stand in the laboratory. Oh, this is just like the answer to the puzzle that I did. So, uh, that's useless. Did you give her the key? Uh, we had the, uh, the key was for us. Probably, oh man, now she looks sad. There's a mannequin, true. Uh, for water, there's nothing there. There's gotta be something missing. It's a more commonly known as a sink. It's a rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut the outer stuff of the off the cables. I can see the wires inside. Very cool. Uh, I'm gr I'm glad. Uh, there's nothing there. There's a door back there. Oh, probably locked. Can't get it to move. What about there? Can't just look through that. There looks like there's something there too. To be honest. Red light is still on on that. Did nothing changed there. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something blatantly obvious. It's got to be with the computer. Power restored to experimental device. Is it something specifically on here? No. What's the puzzle right now? I think I slipped into a daze while watching the stream. That I think I've slipped into it too. I think the puzzle right now is literally just uh, finding out what the experimental... Uh, devices which my brain wanted to say oh it'll just be the uh the mannequin which will happen to be a very big robot um but that is not the case cabinets and drawers it's a silver handrail uh the cabinets i checked the cabinets uh way back that's how we got this far already increase the volt oh we just have to keep clicking on the same thing that makes so much sense Max voltage was a great idea. I think, uh, oh, who knew? Oh, you just fried his brain. Oh my god. Uh, you can tell that the thing was translated in 2009, the mannequin's head. Fire alarm, what the hell? Fire detected, fire detected. The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Oh, she's getting fried. Um, that's not good. Don't breathe that. Do something. This is your fault. My fault. I thought I thought we were cool now. Mannequin's head is on fire. It looks <laughs> kind of funny, but it's no laughing matter. If I don't do something, Clover will... Will what? Uh... Uh, let's do this. The screen is all red. Malfunction detected. Experiment uh, discontinued. It's Jover. It cannot be Jover. Uh, the emergency system has been activated. It's never... It will, will be okay. Whatever that means. Can we turn it off? No? Okay. What about the levers? I know we have to save her. That's why I'm trying to, like, click on the stuff. I guess a clock wouldn't really help. Oh, but the doors are open. Look at the light, it's green. The emergency system is active. Disable the lock. Uh, come on. Uh, come on, kid, jump. She's safe. That smoke is some serious business. Yeah, I don't think I could take the smoke uh, myself, but you did a really good job taking the smoke. Cough, cough. Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. She did just inhale about... A wildfire's worth of smoke. Of course I'm not alright. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead. Sorry, I was going as fast as I could. I mean, like, I might have looked at the clock here and there and maybe looked at some useless instruments and tried to pull some levers that didn't do anything and didn't bother to look at the doors, but... You know. 
might as well go through the next door. You found it. I thought the clover dying part was going to be a lot more dramatic than that, but it really was just literally turn around and open the door. Why didn't Clover try the door now that I think about it? Yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. It took a lot of work to get to this point. All right, let's go. I appreciate it greatly. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. Who would have seen this coming? How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the Honestly, Santa not being in the group is kind of raising group spirits significantly. Jumpy! I think all the other characters are amplified whenever I don't have Santa in the group. June? Santa! Seven. Oh well you know, I guess we're unamplified again. Hey, unfortunate. What are you guys doing here? But we did meet up fast. We didn't. Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? Is the game master just gonna leave that room on fire? Well, eventually the water will counteract it whenever the whole entire ship sinks. I don't think they're too c concerned. Hey, on the wall. Maybe it'll turn on the sprinklers. A map of the ship's interior. Again. It says sea deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Uh, I think so. Door seven. And it's a sea deck. We're on the sea deck. Door eight. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah. Isn't that what I the said? ship is the ship is on fire. Proof they should be good. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door because nine. they're not in the ocean. We might I guess that's true. A little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the notary game works. Man. Seven's kind of picking up on things pretty quick. I wonder if Seven has actually like been through it before, but he just forgot. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. What are we keeping? Oh, the map. Yeah, I think we should probably have the map. I think that's a good idea. I knew it. We're back. Congratulations. Oh, that's brutal. Ace, I we're here. I believe I understand what you're saying. What? The oh. six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. True. And then met one another in the hallway after opening the respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. It was appreciated though, like greatly. I, I, was sure you'd come back. I can't tell if that's like light reflection or if I he's going gray. Because he didn't well, seem that old so before, but maybe, dead. like, sleeping for a long time, uh, really anyway, put the, so the age numbers on him. We found the key we need. Oh, he's hitting his 49th birthday? He's gonna hit 50 reverse back? Goo goo gaga. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Oh, hey. true. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh true, yeah. Jupiter. <laughs> Am I right? So this is Jupiter. It looks like a, a 21 or just a stylized on. four. Yeah, on it. You about to be infant part six? So True. How unused keys do we have now? That's how people talk about JoJo's. There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. Crosshair? The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. True. And the Jupiter key you just gave me. So we can like go down. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. Yes. If the map's right, then it connects to the central The map has not lied a single time yet. Then next to the if they start introduce the map lying to us, I'm going to have a Wait. problem cuz Zero's been pretty straightforward so what far too. Door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as 7 and 8. Just leads the back, but there might be more There's stuff no in there. What's on the other side of that door. But there what's in? Point. At least there is for me. Oh. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. If snakes in, I didn't even think about that. There also just like might be a, a key well. in there. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about. Yeah, the return of Ace. So seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Damn. Well, I guess that's how. Imagine the only thing you can trust is also in on the lies. That would be insane. Because like you, huh? zero set up the game. Zero has not lied to me a single time yet. So I'm 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 on the believing zero yes, side. Well. I think it's an honest game. All right. 
There is no, like, bad calls here. The line judge is completely honest. I thought Ace was dead? No. Okay, we're out. He just took some anesthetics. He was sleeping. Be careful. Oh. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you. Lotus is, like, real, I think. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. I like I like Lotus. Lotus is coming around a lot. Truth comes out. So what do we do in the meantime? <laughs> Everybody's okay, leaving. Everybody's leaving. We have to go the other way. I think they're real too. I think right, you're thinking about the wrong too. kind of real, and I think you need to take your pills. Huh? Get moving. I know what I meant by real. I think I know what you meant by real too. Where are we going? I think we've got two different reels going on. It's crazy how like the language works like that. Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? I'm talking about wood, and you're talking about wood. Let me explain. I'm two, and you're two too. Well, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting. Two years removed from the Goo Goo Gaga reset. Think we both know what we're talking about? Yes. Mm. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. I know, and you know, Here's and I know you know. On the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. Yeah, on it. Going through. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? It's never been a better idea. What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? It's kind of strange to be all the way back. back well, it's literally connected to the other things. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? He's got, like, he's... Santa's had good answers before. Key card. And the Earth key? We, we unlocked extra areas. We got the key so we can go check the Don't left side remember, of the building. Santa? On C deck, where we are now, there was a... And next to the elevator... Santa there was is kind of sus. I agree. On it. Santa is like the character that I trust the least, especially since he gave me the... or wanted me to have the weird bookmark. And I didn't and take it from him. On the door to the left. Because it made me wildly, like, uncomfortable. There was a he wanted me to have that key card or uh, bookmark so bad, and I didn't want it. I was hoping he would just overcome so things and keep it, but then he gave it away to somebody else instead, even though he looked like crazy. Huh. Like Santa, if anybody here is like crazy, it's gonna be him. Yes, that's right. Or June, but I'm coming around to thinking June is just a weirdo. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. So I think Santa's the crazy one and June's just the weirdo. We the voice things. acting has been a common a common point of liking, and I, and I think I agree one. for sure. So you two can search Saturn. I right. understand everybody's like of it. Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have, have no it. idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. I'll be counting. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Let's do it. Great. It looks like it's working now. Yeah. Right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh. With the button. <laughs> it has the upside down triangle. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Doesn't that mean going directly into Maybe like we'll where the sinking is happening? That sounds like a potentially very dangerous idea. Anonagon. It it opened. Look, Jumpy. Who knew that a nine-sided shape would appear Speaking on the elevator? Let's get going. Or is it pronounced Wait. Nonagon? It's been the Nonary games. I thought it, it, they've been saying Nonary. I've been saying Nonary. What? Is this a tomato tomato, or is it just, or am I just wrong? Really, uh... Because the just being wrong is a very real possibility, to be honest. Being, uh, they could only go down. <sighs> Come to think of it, she clearly could not be thinking of just water. being with Santa. An elevator heading to a submerged. Or wait, is she going with me? I can't remember who's going with who. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. True. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. True. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. No water. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. We've got oh, the reasoning right. skills. We're identifying okay. key points. Well, June is completely uninterested. Yeah. Watch this. Now, 
I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Okay. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. E? Is C clear? I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Is E, E is, is E up or down? I don't know, I don't remember. I feel like my sense of direction has been completely torn away from me. I have a compass that says north, 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 yep. and north. And I don't know which way is south. See? What does that mean? Although I suppose that's a bad example. Or I guess it wouldn't work at all because like a compass has like the magnetic thing, so you'd still just know. Even if the directions were labeled wrong, right? Because it's always pointing a certain way. No, that's not true. It's pointing towards the center. How do compasses work? Well, here's what I think. Magnetic thing would point. The elevator shaft and e deck. Maybe you would just assume that the north is the one that is to the top. If you hold it that way, I don't know. Here, uh, let me show you. My brain is rotting. Oh. I see. Very so complex. We have an artistic interpretation of the nuclear bombs test. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with This is water? like the video of the hydrogen bomb being dropped into the ocean. And then like all the water going everywhere. Yeah. I think, I think they used it in on. SpongeBob. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, alright? It was for sure used in SpongeBob at some point. Come on, just do it, alright? The boat is impressive. I'm coming with you. Huh? Hey, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> Santa just standing there and watching? It closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. We were fine alone like a minute ago. It looks normal. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. That's insane. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah. Right on top of us. I think the characters are getting progressively more brain rotted too. Because ever oh, since the first puzzle, they've gotten like only dumber oh, no. instead of smarter. Don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're done, Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then. Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. The squeeze through. There's a little bit of gap there. Right. Then maybe I'm sure you can fit. Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. And a numbered door. door at the end. Wait, I can't remember check. what number we are. Welcome, Cyan. I knew it! This is a numbered door! They need some glasses worse than I do. If they well, couldn't tell the six from doors. where they were. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the a note? E deck? I should take it with me. Oh, not a note. Better than a note? Objectively oh, speaking? So you guys found door one. We did. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. It's nice the, when the game is almost fully voiced. Yeah, yeah, all these in-between parts are voiced, which I am grateful for because I feel like um, it was revealed to me that whenever I'm reading the characters' voices, I don't change my tone at all, which I guess it didn't really need to be revealed to me. It's just not something that I really thought about. So just naturally, it was kind of happening that I was just using the same voice that I used to talk to read them. So it was difficult to tell whenever I was reading and when I was talking. But whenever they're talking, I think they sound slightly different than I do. And since they sound slightly different than I do, their delivery is more easily distinguishable for whenever somebody is just listening to the stream instead of fully watching the stream. If all of e -deck so safe. it's a lot easier to distinguish who's who. We only check the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, I don't sound like anybody, so you don't have to worry about confusing. He said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. No way. That means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. I mean, wasn't that a given from the beginning? Yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine. Like we knew that Zero stopped the sinking, so. That's for sure. Come on. Well, that Basic math here. What Ace was saying. Follow. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. I'm starting to think they had money yes. too. 
It does make sense. The gigantic Titanic. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody's telling me that cruise ships cost a lot of money. Um, I don't know if I buy it yet, but they bought it. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me? Door behind? one? Which one's one? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Oh, to like wait, is that the one that the others went through? I can't even remember. Uh, I'm losing on basic, like, who went through hey, what door. Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. Uh, what did they see? Wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Oh, he's Snake blowed up. Dead. Is there something that I could have done, uh, done to make him not blowed up? Just as the ninth man did. <laughs> oh my god. That's not true, is it? <sighs> We That's probably sure. not good. Yeah, right. We should. Wait, not that way. What? We should Why make not? sure. I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so we can go in that way. Uh, where is uh, where is he? Can they just do that? Left side of the can they like go through and like not activate the thing and then not the get blowed up? Too. I thought that was like against the rules since they're already exited. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess if you just like cheat a little bit, Let's it doesn't go. count. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's go. Somebody shoved him in there. Oh, it smells horrible. I'm starting to think that somebody blown up by a bomb yeah, maybe doesn't smell good. Awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I didn't think they'd smell like flowers, but who knew? There. Somebody spelled stuff you, with them. You should stay here. How did he even get there? Please, just do me a favor, okay? I'm going in. What I'm secrets in. did he have? I'm going in. Uh, yeah. Just like he said, just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Uh, that's unfortunate. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely right. an open fracture. I think more than just the bone might be open. Oh, the face. It's horrible. The face might be open yeah, too. I can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are. The clothes are looking clean. It's Snake. He did have a nice drip. A nice drip. <laughs> That's not how you would say anything. I'm losing it. Snake was probably murdered. I think so too. Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Uh huh. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. But why? Nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for it. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Right. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh-huh. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in... True, so he got blown up anyway. Thank you for the hearts, Remserp. Snake lost his. Snake, we'll need some extra. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Locke. Uh, thank you for watching. Seconds, I appreciated okay. all the chat messages. And the, uh, fun facts about the Titanic. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, multiple. Oh, Santa and Lotus. Let's say you're right. The when easy you Snake was killed. Or Ace? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that, Not we seven. noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned. Seven's the one with the idea, it, uh, which yeah. means surely it can't be him. He also sounds like he's a little upset, so uh, he's he's not lying. Wait a minute! What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one. No way. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murdered. Well, I know it's not me. Why don't you calm down a bit? Sir? And I know it's not June.
because she followed me the whole entire time. Or did she? What if it is June? What are you going June to is a weirdo so far. That's what Zero wants, you know? What? Lotus wanted Zero to make a deal. Lotus wanted to go through the doors separately and leave people behind. She's already admitted that. Um, so I don't exactly. think it's Lotus. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't are the losers. Yeah, but we can Zero all be winners. Trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? That's possible too, but like, I feel yes. like I was jumping to a super massive conclusion. And then if we're hanging out suspicion. with the, the imposter, uh, then we just get stabbed. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond can we finish the tasks fast enough? Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero. I thought so too, but... If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. I think so too. I think we should just blame the, uh, the person that we stuck us on a boat. Game and kidnapped all of us. And I do like Ace, but Ace was the one that we thought was weird whenever we went to the thing, but also he was the one that stabbed himself with anesthetics for no reason. But also maybe he's in on it. What if, what if the one uh, is next to the zero? And so like they're actually like boyfriend, girlfriend? Or uh, boyfriend, boyfriend? Is zero a boy or a girl? We've been calling Zero he so far. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Hold on, I wasn't listening. I was thinking about uh, uh, shipping potential. If there shouldn't be Zero, doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Good question. Junpei hasn't killed, uh, really considered that. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Um, Junpei wasn't sure, of course. Somebody has to have dropped them off and gotten ready for the game. It was probably Zero because Zero was literally the one that broke into their house and like hit everybody really hard in the head and then carried them to the ship. And they're also there for like the entertainment, but they would get off of the ship before it sank. But maybe they aren't going until like the very last minute. And if we think about it, I mean, wouldn't it be kind of lame if we got to the end of the game and couldn't even see Zero? But maybe Zero also is just super rich and we'll have a little private jet waiting on the front of the boat for us. And will take us to see Zero and then say, hello, congratulations on winning the Nonary game. You did very well and I'm very proud of you. Uh, what would you like for dinner? Uh, I'm not sure. Was Zero still on the ship? I'm not sure, but a Junpei wasn't sure isn't a no, and of course is a strong answer, and I think I want to go with the strong answer. Uh, but also, I don't want to blame anybody on the team. Not sure is going to put us in a bad spot. We're going with of course. I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? In the walls! Oh, Zero, get out. I think, I think Zero is one of us. Oh. Never mind, we're still very suspicious of each other. I think it's Santa. It's either Santa or June for sure. One of them... Wait, 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 wait. No, we heard Zero's voice over the thing. We're, we're, we were actively talking with Zero. We were actively talking with Zero while everybody... Over the intercom while everybody was hanging out. So it can't be one of us. That's crazy. Isn't the ship going to sink in a few hours? If Zero was here with us, he'd be putting himself in danger. Why the hell would he do something like that? And also, There's we no like saw everybody while we were chatting with, with Zero over the intercom. Don't believe me. <laughs> Why are we going for the... Clover, I... Clover, I understand what you're feeling, but you have to understand. The more we distrust one another... That's crazy. I thought we were going to do a little bit of team building and instead by saying I don't want to believe that. Instead, I have now distanced uh everybody. Do you want to let yourself be manipulated? 
Ace is also just kind of weird now. He's making me wildly uncomfortable. But Zero looked like Zero was short and Ace happens to be seven and a half feet tall. And so unless he was walking around on his knees while knocking everybody out with the gas canisters, I don't think it's Ace. Or Ace might be walking around with stilts. But I think everybody would have noticed that by now. It's three in the morning. Can people with prosthetics get, like, really long legs? Like, if you get both your legs amputated, can you get... That means we have three hours left. Wait, what happened? Then we need to move. Seven. Clover, I know how you feel, but you do understand... Getting my legs amputated so I can get nine-foot legs and then walk like I'm on stilts for the rest of my life. We must go. I can't fit through doors anymore. It's caused me a massive problem, and now I have to live in a castle so I can have doors big enough to get through. Mercury. That'll take a while. Haha, <laughs> how many light years is that? But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. Oh, it's Lotus and Ace. All right, let's go, June. No, it's not. The Lotus and Ace are keeping an eye on Santa because they know. And I'm keeping an eye on June because June is, uh, uh, weird. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. Santa hasn't said a word in a long time. I don't... It's... I think seven wait, Seven came with something. us? No, Seven did not anyway, come with us. Let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. True. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? I don't want to get blowed up. Uh, I'm happy we were put together. Oh. Uh, you know it's just for searching e -deck, Yeah, let's right? not get weird already. Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh. I'm glad. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes The tension the is so uncomfortable. Just like we did before. They both like clearly obviously like each other, but they don't want to accept that. Oh, surely they don't mean it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Who knew that it wouldn't be wet? Look. Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Okay. Well, Let's go to the basement. The awkward elevator ride? We didn't even get like a comfortable song and said it's like the most intense thing you've ever heard. Two! This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on True, that means we're close to the ninth. Closing in. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large I've read so much information by now. I'm gonna be a trivia god. Jeopardy should fear me. What was the sister ship to the Titanic that was used for nursing purposes during uh, World War One? Uh, what is the gigantic? The next door we find. Yeah, I think so. What was the sister ship to the that Titanic that was kept in the dock secretly for insurance fraud? Uh, that what is the large antic? Finally. Yeah. What was the sister ship to the Titanic it, that was sent to the Bermuda Triangle and lost forever? That was the big antic. What is big antic? It's not that. I almost messed that one up. I would have uh, lost all my money. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like awkward way to do it. I can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair. Blah de blah. This is a complicated plan. It is complicated. Hurry it up, Mister. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. Quiet in the peanut gallery. All right. It's not a bad plan at all, by any means. First one says Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you? Yes, I do. No, we don't have time for that. <laughs> He wants to going. hear himself talk so bad. Santa. He wants door six. Please listen to me explain yeah, my perfect wrote. reasoning for why I would like door six. Seven wants one. Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant. Just get over it. No point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. True. But you'll get used to it. Just give it up, Lotus. I had to work with Santa for uh, 
It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> Barely. True. So, last time she's got clothes me. on. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Man. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, not good. Maybe it would be best oh, to like. Go of me. Junpei, read the wrist. Uh, right. June Hurry it up. Six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. Uh, uh, January, February, March, April, May. Uh, uh, this is the sixth month. I get it. Requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. So the door I should choose is. Okay. The last one. I want to go through. Wait. Hold on, can we can we listen to who was going through what again? I wasn't listening. I kind of zoned out completely and totally. Uh, Seven and Lotus, two. Ace and Clover, one. Seven and Lotus, two. Santa and June. Okay, so there's a there's a dilemma here. So naturally, I would go with, with my very good friend June on door six, but I, I don't know if I want to have to listen to Santa for the remainder of the game. Um, Seven and Lotus are okay. I'm still weirded out by Ace. Um, I think I'm on Clover's bad side. I think I'm gonna go with Ace and Clover. <laughs> that way I could just see whenever the bad stuff happens because I just have a feeling that it's either one of them that are like the bad. My choice is door It's not Clover. Wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking. If you changed your number after you heard what door- How could I do that? I wrote it down on- Let me see that. Sure, here. Did I write it? I had three pieces of paper ready. Oh. And I, put the one I did cheat six it. On it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I, after I saw everyone else's result, I, if the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to- Well, what is it? <laughs> you got lucky. Lucky? Very well. We've decided who will go uh, why does uh, Santa want to hang out that bad? Our only problem is I also haven't been able to work with Ace yet. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with a... <sighs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Well, I, I am um... pig. Man, you just wait and see. Basic man, we statistically oh, lower the age, then we'll all be happy. Lotus is kind of cool though. They're such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick, and they're at it again. How far can it go? I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. Yeah, we'll be cool. Split up permanently till we find door nine. Just like don't die. Separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, don't die and we'll be all good. That's how the notary game works. Although Santa on the team, Santa and Lotus. But I like Lotus now a little more. But Santa on the team, death ratio way up. The percentage is not looking great. It was the door on the left, right? Correct. That should be it. Yes. Yes, mm, yes, that should be it. Correct, yes. It's just as Santa and Lotus said, the numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Thank you. Now the two of you, if you would. If you would please, if you would please put your hand to the thing so that we can enter the yeah. door and start sprinting so that we could please put the hands up to the dead so yeah. that we do yeah. not dead. Very well, then. Let's go. Three. Thank you for the formalities. Two. One. Whoa! Run, run, run! And it's open. Move it. Putting the dead at a location that's like really, really far away, so that only Where? Where an Olympic athlete could make it to the dead in time, so that they don't all blow up from the bombs inside of them. Barely make it to the thing and then uh, uh, blow up just before. <sighs> it stopped. Yes. It did. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. Yeah, me neither. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. Uh, true. Also fair. Imminent death becomes a normal thing. 
I think it kind of <laughs> already right. has hit the point whenever you're examining like the blown oh, up man. body. Who else could There's it be? Door. Zero blowed up. Let's try opening it. So, no, it's Snake. This is the wheelhouse. Who would have seen that coming? The wheelhouse. That's kind of lame. Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something. Okay, I will. I kind of ruined all the rapport that I gained with Clover right, in the other room started. by saying it can't be true. <laughs> She would have said, okay, Junpei, so true, you're correct. I will listen to everything you have to say if I would have just agreed with her. I didn't think it would go like that. Okay, well, I'm now to the next puzzle. It has been three hours, um, longer than the usual stream, but also it is filling the Catherine spot, which I did usually end up just playing for three hours anyway. The game's a lot more fun than I had expected, so I kind of get drawn in and just want to do the puzzles. So that's that's how I end up. Um, I apologize for not having the chat this time. I will have it by uh, Sunday stream for sure, for real for sure. Uh, let me go through and read some names to thank people. Uh, that showed up. Thank you, Jury Han Channel. Thank you, Holland. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Elodie. Thank you, Koi. Uh, 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 thank you, Danny. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Froggies. Thank you, Relic. Thank you, Ghost. Thank you, Ginja. Thank you, Genius. Um, and I want to say that that is all of the people that chatted, but. Oh, and thank you, Cyan. I don't think I said thank you, Cyan. But that will be that. Thank you all for watching. I will be back with Dredge DLC on Sunday and uh, Resident Evil 4 Wednesday, which will hopefully not get canceled. Um, I progressed slightly in the unlisted VOD, but nothing like significant, so it'll be easy to just come back in. And uh, then we'll be back on Friday with 999, which to be honest... Oh, and Asoki as well. Thank you, Asoki. I missed your one message in there, I'm uh, sorry. But uh, I kind of just really want to play this game, so it's sad that I have to wait a week, but I can handle it. Either way, uh, thank you all for watching. I'm looking forward to playing more, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I will see you all again on Sunday. Uh, goodbye.